That's just the THX logo. Oh, oh, classic. 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 How do we sound now? I don't know. I don't they're know. Really they're mad. really mad. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Echo? Oh, okay. They, they we're, all muted. we're all muted. I don't know. Oh, my God. Is this echoing? Can you hear us now? Boy, if, if Travis was here, none of this would have. Or Trevor, yeah. sorry. Trevor, I know. Just, if Trevor was here, none it's of this would have happened. Trey. <laughs> Trey would never let this happen. Oh, I'm tell, tell, tell chat what you were just telling us right before we went live. That would, would be so funny. Uh, I was saying we, we should start the, the stream with. I have to, I'm, I'm trying to watch the stream. What are you so doing? Can, I'm trying to watch the stream so I can hear it. So I can like make sure we sound okay on my phone, but uh, it's playing a fucking ad for Venom. Let there be carnage, which is like one of the like the saddest things is that Trevor Travis is never gonna see Venom. Let there be carnage. Travis would have loved it. Trevor, was, sorry, Trevor would have loved it. Not, I was gonna. It was Troy's Troy's favorite film. Before the <laughs> intro, have it say uh, 1980 to 2021. R.I.P. Travis Moore. <laughs> Spelled M. And we gotta make shirts that say R.I.P. Travis Moore with just Trevor's picture. Oh my Made god. Made by Sam back in there. <laughs> it's like he's been dead for less than a month and we're already like Trevor. 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 Sorry. What's me. his name? <laughs> we're getting his name Trevor. wrong. Oh my god. Uh, wait, it's gonna. It's great. Timmy's here that. and Timmy's gonna screw us Somebody up. Somebody said I look like, cute today. Oh my god, stop. Hey, all right. So last time I read out too many donos. I I, I heard your cries. Hey, will only be we what up, Timmy? Can you guys hear me okay? Yes. We can. Oh, fucking with the lighting situation. Ready? I get my lights up. God, he's so disruptive. I will only be reading fifty dollar and up donos today, because uh, apparently I I spent like fifty percent of our stream last time reading donos. So I won't do that again. Uh, but it was very appreciated. We raised like how much? We raised almost like thirty thousand. Twenty-seven or twenty-eight? It was crazy. Oh, 20, 35. 35? Yeah. Yeah. Jeez. And then Timmy I think, sounds way louder than everybody. Else. Oh, thirty-five, including that's including we the in, week it, prior. The week prior, when we had no shows, you guys were still donating. Oh man, I can mess with my mic. Yeah, you're super loud. Can I read a couple now just so that they don't, they don't get out of control? Oh, here, here we go. Here we go. I, yeah. I just want to get through only the 50 I'm, I'm and above, kidding. guys. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Elizabeth <laughs> donated 75 three days ago. I'm going to I'm gonna hit some of the back ones. Thank you. Uh, Bubble Bloop donated 100. Thank you. Andy Mack donated 100. I appreciate you, buddy. Said, uh, I came first at the annual dog jerking off contest. I also got first place. So does that mean you came the most? I don't understand. <laughs> Um, but thank you all. So yes, I will only be reading 50 and above today. I'm sorry, that's just the deal. Professor Marth Live just donated. Said, hey, you still got that pot smoking dog? Travis totally <laughs> would have loved that joke. And Brandon Rosales donated 80, says, thanks Darren and Sam for the secret show. Oops, I mean, wink, wink. What the fuck is he talking about? We did a secret. Um, no, I mean, I don't know. What the fuck is he talking about? I don't know what he's talking about, wink, wink. Sam and I did a secret show when we blew each other on camera. <laughs> what 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 website did you do the show on? Oh, it's uh, Snitch. It's yeah, different <laughs> it's different. Yeah, different totally different. Could you imagine a live porn <laughs> streaming site called Snitch? Are you giving away your secret part of the Snitch promotion what, plan then? Or? Isn't Snitch what a Ashley Madison was? 
Topical. Sam loves that joke. We're going to be as happy with that. Topical. Like, he thinks he just told a banger right there. You guys, you guys remember yeah. Ashley Madison? Ashley Madison? It's this. Ashley it's Madison. this motion. Yeah, dude. Yeah. 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 Well, that was, that was, I was referencing a conversation that we had, like, that we talked about, about Ashley Madison, like, a week ago. So in person, uh, yeah, in person. Yeah, I think my wife was there. Like, I, I was with my wife, and somebody was like, "What's there's one of those uh, dating sites? We're talking about the different dating sites. There's Grinder, and there's Tinder, and there's oh, like yeah. there's Bumble, and there's Raya, and then somebody was like, and isn't there one that's just for married people to cheat on their wives? And I go immediately. I don't miss a beat. I'm like, Ashley Madison. <laughs> Ashley Madison. <laughs> and they're like, oh, but yes, uh, yes, there is. I know what it's called. Like, like, I mean, I don't know. Uh, maybe it's uh, Ashley I, I Madison. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. Anyway. How's everybody doing? Um, hey, how you pretty doing? Pretty good. All right. Timmy, what's uh -huh. happening, buddy? You all right? Yeah. You guys ready? White Claw. Is that in honor of Travis? Trevor? <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yeah. Travis, he which one is I got it, a Travis. Hawaiian shirt. Good. I got a Hawaiian shirt. I got white claw, and I was late. I mean, come on. Holy shit! That's awesome. That's the trifecta. Have you guys ever tried? You guys probably haven't. None the of you trav <laughs> None trav of you drink anymore. This is not. I've never had one. What was he doing with this? It's I not, never had one. It's, it's all right. White it's Claw came out right after I got sober, and and uh, Tinder came out right after I met my wife. I've, I've missed all of the oh man, all the fun. Oh man, all the fun stuff. You miss all yeah. these opportunities to be like a basic bitch, right? Just like <laughs> just yeah. Sorry. You know me. You know how I do. Bad. Uh, uh, Kendrick Arrow just yeah. donated fifty. Says, "Hey boys, watching this and the Holyfield fight, but I love you guys more. Let's go to Mars." Yes, yes, oh. yes. Ooh, Tazu for you donated sixty nine dollars. Says Travis <laughs> Moore would have loved Venom. Let there become carnage. Let there be carnage. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, dude. Who it donated says for the prettiest pigtails I ever did see. They, he must be talking about me. May McDonough <laughs> Music donated a hundred. Said Jesus, who died. Uh, they're still <laughs> donated 50. So love and, and miss you guys. Get Travis to Mars. Um, let's talk about Mars. You guys want to talk about the Mars updates? Wait, can we just talk? I, I know I'm late. Why are we calling him Travis? Uh, no, we, we know his name's Trevor. We, we, we remember it, right? Someone just called him Travis again, right? No, no. Him Travis? I'm sure no one did. Trevor. It was a mistake. Yeah. Wait, is this one of those things you talk about before I got on that you're going to do? Like, keep saying Travis? Yeah. Fuck, fuck with me. Oof. One of those it's not, things. Not, it's, not <laughs> it's not with you. It's the fuck with Travis. <laughs> yeah. Um, um, yeah. Timmy, we don't care about you. Oh, I care. Be, yeah. Dude, if there's any truth of the last 20 years to the day, it's that. I get it. Hang, hang on, guys. I'm sorry. I hate to do this, but I have to. St. Trevor Candles just donated... Two thousand dollars. Whoa! Says, what? Excuse me, sirs. I would like to buy one ticket to Mars, please, but I can only pay you in St. Trevor candles. Seriously, seriously though, I made a bunch of candles and we raised this money. Yeah, it was pretty good. Yep. A line. Have you seen what the, the candles? Fuck? Are you kidding? Have you guys yeah. seen the candles? Wow. No. She. I, I'm getting one. Uh, there. Uh, I'll show them in fan art later. Yeah, they made like you know those uh, Santeria candles they make with a saint on them, big tall glass candle. We keep. What are the candles shaped like? Like this. <laughs> you know, like okay. this. And no, so it's a big call, tall tube. You guys and you know, have I'm trying to explain Don't, this thing. Are those the candles that are shaped like a guy drying off his dog's wiener? <laughs> <laughs> okay, um, hey guys, I got I to gotta go make a cup of tea. <laughs> I'm eating a chalupa. Um, I got to go masturbate. <laughs> well, you guys remember back when I first met y'all, uh, Trevor would call it, uh, he, he'd be like, where's Zach? He's like, he's watching Scream. And whenever he thought he, he whatever, like oh. that was always his uh, silly Do you know where that about. comes from? No. In my dorm in Temple University, where I went before huh? I moved to New York City, I walked in on my roommate masturbating. On my TV, by the way. He took my little TV VCR combo over to his side of the room. And he was like, I'll never forget it. It's tattooed in my mind. 
he was like sitting in a chair he was like inches from the monitor and he was like masturbating and as i walked in and before i even like saw he goes i'm watching scream i'm watching scream and he was like ejecting and like trying to and i was like i and i just like i just like closed the door and walked out and i told everybody and so for the rest of my time i ran to the PA. i told everyone Earth. immediately like an asshole and uh so the, the code in philly for all of us was when you're gonna jerk off you're gonna go watch scream so that's where that comes from i the wor- love that the worst thing to hear when someone walks in on you is immediately <laughs> hey guys yeah. <laughs> oh my god everybody come out of your dorms and listen to what i have to say right now guys um drunken spidey just uh uh, uh uh went in or how do you what do you call it darren went off uh, went, he- uh, he put a bunch of memes in. <laughs> put a bunch of memes in. And the Tunche, uh, is it still put a bunch of memes in or is it something different? He uploaded like a I thousand likes. Tunche. So cool. <laughs> uh, he liked everybody in the room. He, he liked them. Uh, M1, M1N1 Book donated 50, says, yo, Timmy. This one's for you. I rewatched all of the Zucchini Boys over the past month, and it really helped me. So very thankful for you and the boys. I hope one day, maybe just one day, you will consider doing some more episodes. Well, Jimmy? I'm going to do a... I'm, I think, uh, you know, I don't know if I'm ready yet, but um, I want to do some uh, Trevor Foods, you know? Maybe just oh, that would be like Slim McDonald's. Jims and ramen noodles mixed together. <laughs> well, uh, that Daniel, that Daniel's meal thing, right? So I'll make that, and then I'll make uh, maybe just a giant. Like I one time, when when he, Trevor and I lived in the same neighborhood, he and Amy and I were out at some bar somewhere. We went and and, and got drunk or whatever. Stopped at a bodega on the way back, and he got two like of the big cans of like Chef Boyardee ravioli, and ate two of both of them. And yeah. me and his wife, it was like two in the morning at least, and he, me and his wife were just sitting in their apartment just watching him like eating out of the can. Like he just wore, I don't know if he, or he, he, he might have eaten it cold. I don't know. He's just eating all this fucking ravioli. We're just like, like Dude, how are you? <laughs> when I lived with him, when we were Imagine roommates shits. in the same dorm, when he was my roommate, he would eat the same meal every day, twice a day, and that's all he would eat. And it was ramen noodles and he would break up a slim jim and drop it in the ramen noodles and eat that and that's all he ate this is look at super size me with whiskey right that when he's like all emaciated that's what he looked like and his leg he had a he had a like a boil on like a raw open wound on his leg that was this big he didn't know where it came from and yeah. what it was doing and one day he got a call from his dad his dad was like trevor what, what are you eating right now he's like lunch his dad's like put it down <laughs> like the, your blood test just came back from the doctor he's like you could drop dead at any moment like your triglycerides are like off the charts i don't know what he said it was like so basically trevor was so malnourished that his body was eating itself yeah like oil yeah. on his leg was his body was so starved for nutrition it was like literally consuming his own skin he's That's probably drinking no you. water it was like no water. drinking and, just malt water, liquor and cigarettes MSG. like yeah yeah trevor well, and, and, trevor loved life hacks trevor had his own breed of life hacks he loved like shortcuts and life hacks and stuff and uh for that month his life hack was like hey you can eat nothing but ramen yeah but oh. you can't <laughs> it, doesn't <laughs> have, it doesn't have enough nutrition in it but i remember once he told me he's like uh yeah, I love it when I only poop once a week. It feels like you like won, like you figured it out. I'm like, did you? <laughs> That's really like concerning. yeah. You know who else loved doing yeah. that? John Wayne, who had a like 75 pound piece of shit taken out of his stomach when he died. <laughs> uh, is that real? Did that really? Yeah, happen? dude, John Wayne yeah. died with like a fucking like a like an eight year old's worth of fucking like undigested crap in him. Yeah. Yeah, he's a, he was a bad that, dude, uh, right? We should put that in our white. Yeah, and he was like a racist uh, Hollywood piece of shit restaurant. Too. What, Darren? Sorry. Oh. We, we should put that uh, that big poop ball that he made and put it in our whitest kids Hollywood restaurant. <laughs> <laughs> Just like a gigantic thirty pound piece yeah. of shit. Yeah, John, John, John Wayne's, Wayne's, John Wayne's colon tumor shit. <laughs> yeah. 
Wait, people this think is, John this Wayne is the is shit Nazi, that killed that Nazi. He was a Nazi? No, no. he couldn't have been. I mean, he was a no, bad, he, he was a bad he was person, a, though. He was like a white supremacist, I think. Somebody's saying Zach and Darren are too quiet. Just um, saying. I, I, can't I can't turn tell. you guys down separately from Timmy. I can turn myself up. Should I do that? Yeah. Do that. I can't. I can't turn myself up. I can turn myself on. I'll be louder. Ooh, you guys see that sexy neck there? Yeah, that was good. I was gonna comment on that too. Good beard, um, good beard, Kenzie. Hey, Sam and Zach. Yeah. Congratulations on knowing me for 20 years today. Today's yeah. the day. Hmm? Today's the day. I was yeah, always yeah. gonna say, it's the worst thing that ever happened on this day in history <laughs> was that we met Timmy. Right. Yeah. It was the worst thing that ever happened and also 9-11. <laughs> yep. I'm so jealous I'm not a part of your guys' awesome club. You are a part of our awesome club. You're right there. We just, yeah, you know. But I, no, not on this day. Like, I wasn't Darren. there with you guys. I wanted to, like, make up this fake story of, like, my favorite Timmy story on 9-11 when I met him. Was I supposed but, to play along? I'm sorry. We, we we didn't talk about where, you know, we didn't do a lot of talking about this. So we could have planned out some big prank, man. Sorry. Hey, Darren, yeah, what, were, right. were you in New York yet when 9-11 happened? Yeah. You were. Yeah. I, I was in the Queen's house. You were already there when 9-11 happened? Okay. Yeah, yeah. Word. I, I was in Tower 1 when it happened, and I, I got out. Yeah. That, that's a lie. That, Are you Steve Renzi-ing us right now? <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'm trying to Steve renzi you. <laughs> oh, man, we need a spinning graphic like Puck says, renzi I want to know how many people in chat know about Steve renzi and his lies. This is a, let's, do a, let's do a, a poll. <laughs> Are you familiar with Steve? I don't even know how to spell his last name. Renzi-zi. Just go with it. I think there's an lies. A. I'm just, a Z. Steve yes. R. No, no, I, I just tried. I probably spelled it wrong. It's fine. Let's see what we got. You spelled Nazi. Um, <laughs> you are not far off. Uh, Melvin donated 50. He says, love you. Love you, too. Thank you, uh, Melvin. Yeah, that's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. Uh, Professor Shart Live donated 100. Said, I mean, Professor Mark Live. Fuck. Well, that's, <laughs> that's quite the boo-boo there. I don't know. How'd you blow that? Uh, happy birthday to my dog, Don. Wait, what is that from? Come on, how'd you blow that? Oh, that's from Mars. I was just thinking like, oh yeah, Trevor bit. I was like, come yeah. on, Todd, how'd you blow that? That's a really funny bit from Mars. Oh yeah. yeah. Gotta say, we went through Mars this week. We watched the animatic down again, made some notes, and I am like so fucking excited yeah. for this movie. It is watched real it. good. In the last two weeks, I've watched it three times. We watched, and, uh, we watched some of the animation that they finished, some of the final stuff. And I think next time we stream, our next Self Suck Saturday, uh, the animators will come on and show some of the, uh, some of the clips. Right? Wow. Whoa, whoa. Four, whoa. Sweet. Four hundred. Cool. Just so everyone knows we're not <laughs> fucking around here. Not <laughs> but the, the thing I was saying wow to was that 464 people aren't familiar with Steve Renzizi's lies. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we're gonna change that's that. What tonight. I was He's from what, what was the wow. show? What, wasn't he on the, the, uh, the, the league? league? Is that what he was on? The league. He was on the Nick, league. Nick Kroll was on that too, right? Yeah, so he was on that. Mark Duplass. Um, so we should have like half of the chat tell the other half of the chat the whole story <laughs> of what. So everybody chat. Chat will look other. so fucked up for. He him. was an actor who like got attention by saying he was in one of the towers when it happened. And he kept it up for decades. And then how did he, he get did, caught? He would go into auditions <laughs> and tell that story. How, That's like yeah. how he got And I parts. think he would do it in interviews stand and stuff. I think it was like, I think it was like part of his. Yeah, thing. dude, he would talk about it in like interviews and stuff. And then he got, then someone figured it out. I can't, I forget exactly how it got revealed, but yeah. And he got busted. Mm -hmm. And then he did like a little apology tour and he went on Marin and like, it was like the shittiest thing because like the whole time he's on Marin, he's like, he's like, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. I, I don't I've been years since I listened to him, but he was like very contrite. And then at the end, Marin is like wrapping it up and, and Marin's just being nice and kind of doing that thing where you just kind of minimize somebody's shitty behavior, like to end the conversation well and Marin goes I get it you know you just you, you just got carried away with a little white lie and it just spiraled and, he just, and Steve goes that's all it was that's all it was and it's like 
Well, now you're undoing everything you just said for the last hour. Like, right. you, <laughs> if you're gonna minimize it, it was a little you, white lie. Don't set him up like that. He gave the dude. Dude makes a horrible lie about a horrible tragedy, and Mary just gives him a fucking layup like that. Like, come on, dude. You know? Yeah, I mean, I don't know. I'd have to listen to it again. I think Marin did hold his feet to the coals for a little while, but I don't know. Whatever. Um, I haven't listened I w- to the Marin podcast in like so. So eight years. Years. I wonder what it's like now. I he was used to lie to get famous, and then he used getting caught for the lie to continue getting famous. Yeah. I I was at the the Boston Marathon bombing, and I like like th- I grabbed this guy who lost his leg, and I carried him. <laughs> yeah, and I also remember that a like a piece of shrapnel like stuck straight in your forehead. And you're like, ah! Or you're like, you wouldn't drop the guy. And you're like yeah. running with this giant hunk of metal. And you're like, like, Sam, stop! You gotta take care of yourself. You're like, no, I must save him. You're yeah, like, no, you kept running back and picking up other people who like weren't even hurt. Like he picked up a first responder who was trying to help someone else, and you like carried yeah. him back to his own hand. They were upset about like, that. Yeah, they were. They were like, like stop carrying me. me. I was giving that woman CPR. Like, no. Yeah, you kept trying to mouth to mouth everybody for days. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I got that's how and we got cramp, mono. Cramp the third style time. just teared everybody up. Oh, someone's saying, uh, please discuss Mark Wahlberg because he also said like if he was on one of the planes that wouldn't have crashed or something, right? He said something <laughs> crazy. I believe it, yo. I believe it. I believe yeah, because Rob, no, Rob kicked him to the ground. He, he is totally right, but no, it's not that. It's the terrorists would have been like. What are we doing? We're not going to kill Mark Wahlberg. Yeah. Like, have you seen Three Bloody Kings? Minutes. Bloody Nights, Can't yeah. Because yeah. all terrorists love the movie Three Kings for some reason. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah that's their favorite. <laughs> <laughs> like, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, Three Kings. That's a good one. Yeah. All those other ones are bullshit, but that Three Kings. Did you know that during the shooting of Three Kings, um, George Clooney and uh, David O. Russell got into many, many arguments culminating in a fight on set where George Clooney shoved David O. Russell to the ground. David O. Russell got up and headbutted George Clooney in the face and had to shut shooting down. Do you know that? What? Yeah. That's wild. It's true. Yeah. Uh, Wait, happy Spike birthday to my dog, game, Donnie, man. donated 51 bucks. Says, RIP Travis Moore, you were good shit. Never fucking forget. There you go. Um, uh, Spike Jones was in... Three Kings. Spike Jones did not direct Three Kings. He was in Three Kings. David, David O. Russell, Russell directed it. David O. Russell directed it. Uh, I kind of yeah. love that movie. I haven't seen it in years, but I loved it when it came out. Spike yeah, Jones was Spike. editing Being John Malkovich while he was shooting Three Kings. Ninety nine had a number of movies that were advertised very well, hiding what they were actually about. Uh, Matrix, Fight Club, Being John Malkovich, and also Three Kings, where it's like they had good trailer campaigns where they like made you want to see it, but you didn't really know. That's the problem. I try not to watch any trailers yeah. now because they show you the whole fucking movie. It's insane. We're watching. I don't know. I don't know. I, I went did to the other way on that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. I mean, honestly, like, like, are you being, are you trolling or is this real? I think a good movie's good. Like, that's the thing is like, I think you could know that, like, I think twists aren't like amazing for movies. Right. And I, I think like, that. if it's a but good they story, add it's to the good... experience, like no. you definitely would like to go in sure. not having the movie ruined. Right. True, I, I mean, but I don't, I don't think know knowing I mean, the which directions it goes in. Yeah. I don't right, think yeah. knowing the direction it goes in necessarily ruins it. And, uh, you know, it's like, 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 uh, what was it? Old, old Greek tragedies. They used to say what was going to happen in the scene before they had the scene. I guarantee you that if you were to watch like an old Greek tragedy right now, you'd be bored. <laughs> yeah, everybody would be annoyed. They're like, just, you would be like, why are they die. doing that? Why are they telling me? Just do the scene. Don't. Yeah, I'd also, be I mean, bored. Same, but I agree with doesn't you, mean they're but bad. Also, right? Yes, it does. I, I, yes, that's exactly what it means. No, it doesn't. Yes, Fucking, it does. What, if every, entertainment, if you're bored watching entertainment, then it, it's it doing not something entertaining. wrong. But you're hey not. Man, I fell asleep at Armageddon. Love it. <laughs> Although I do disagree with myself because there's a lot of movies that dummies think are boring and they're good. So I, I'm an idiot. That's true. Um, <laughs> <laughs> but I think it. You know, I say I agree with you, but also, but so why does the trailer need to tell you the whole story? Though? You know, it doesn't. It doesn't. Like the Matrix, but... the Matrix is always like I've watched the Matrix probably who knows how many times, right? I love that movie, but like the first time was so fucking cool, you know, because you d- had no clue. 
Yeah. Where would Travis have landed on this issue? Trevor, sorry. He Where would, would have landed? sided with Sam uh, because he was always like, he didn't, you know, he held nothing sacred, right? So he would have just been like, yeah, I don't care. You know, that's how I think. Yeah, probably. I don't know. I I dude, he was the guy, he was the guy that if he could, he, even Star Wars, which he held very dear, just like I do, right? If he could like read the script early or find out the ending early of those newer movies or anything, he did. Like, he was like, he called me once, uh, you know, when The Force Awakens or whatever was coming out, and there's a big death in that movie, and he, he was like, I know who dies. I'm like, that's great. Like, I don't, like, you don't need to tell me. And I was like, a month before it comes out, like, someone, he, you know. But he did have a weird special thing about spoilers. Remember when we found out, like, Dumbledore dies in one of the Harry Potter books, like, way before the book hit the, uh, hit publishing? And, like, at our live show, he, like, did a whole sketch where it just lights up, and he goes... Dumbledore dies, and then it was lights down, and some people were like, "No!" You're right? Do I have that right? I remember something like that. I remember getting, uh, uh, I had that specific ending ruined for me by one of Sam's friends from the Cape, John Ford. Uh, oh yeah. Back in the MySpace days, John Ford, you could make like those bulletin board posts. Yeah. And oh it yeah. Said, uh, it said, and so he posted one like emergency, I need help. And I think at the time, John was like on the road all the time, like uh, kind of living on the road. And so I was like, oh, John needs help. And he opened it and it was like a week before Half-Blood Prince comes out. And it just says, you open the help emergency post, it just says Dumbledore dies, fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. and I, like, had bu- I was like going to buy the book like n- the next day or the next week. And I was like, God, damn. and now I don't care because she sucks and who cares about Harry Potter. But like then I was like, ah. You know, so so she sucks because of what she said about trans people. Yeah, it's just like who cares? And like you know, I don't know. And I, I feel like a lot of people uh, feel like there was a lot of things going on in those books that they that were kind of questionable, maybe racist or something. And then when she started talking the like books? that, they were like maybe they were racist. You know? Like what? Like what? <laughs> like the uh, money hoarders being like these little goblins and kind of playing maybe on some Jewish stereotypes that maybe a lot of kids weren't thinking about when they read them, you know, stuff like that. But Yeah, um, she was doing that. She was doing that. Yeah, there's a lot of stuff like that. <laughs> I don't know. But anyways, like, it's like, but you know, it's like, like someone asked me today, like, well, does your, you know, uh, does your daughter like Harry Potter? I'm like, I don't know. I mean, I, I you know, my daughter's 10, like Harry Potter's kind of done, right? I mean, I don't think young kids really care. I don't think that's true. Really? Do they still like it's, Harry Potter? Well, I dude, yeah, idea. it's ridiculous. People like spend thousands of dollars to go to Universal Studios and like buy a magic, a fake magic wand that costs $150. Oh, okay, yeah. And it doesn't even work like every day. Every day, like thousands of people do this. See, I don't get that, but I totally get the same exact thing you do for lightsabers. <laughs> oh, yeah. uh, let oh, me yeah. do some donos real quick. Yeah, do work. Stevens Walking donated 50, says 9 11, make a wish. Brandon Rosales donated, said also to say, Timmy, my girlfriend slash fiance is in love with you and will only watch Whitest Kid sketches that feature Timmy. So this one's for her. Her name is Katie. Well, she sounds terrible. Uh, <laughs> movie her name is Katie. Donated. She's a fucking idiot. <laughs> <laughs> he has shitty taste. Uh, movie Dustin donated, said, R.I.P. Topher. It's a shame he won't see Venom. Let there be carnage directed by Andy Serkis and starring Tom Hardy in theaters in IMAX October 1st, 2021. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Long Halcyon donated. What is that? What is blaze that? It. Love you guys. What? what is, why are people into, like talking about the carnage, the Venom I think Sam made. I mentioned said it, Trevor, and I said he would. Yeah. He would fucking love that. Woody Harrelson oh, playing Carnage. Yeah, I the saw the Venom he movie. Be, yeah, the oh, movie he, loves he would Venom be the movies. most. The movie he'd be the most excited about is that Cry Macho. Cry Macho. Movie. Yeah, he would be like, yeah. fucking Fuck, crazy yeah. for that. But I've heard the title. What is that? That's New Eastwood, right? Yeah, yes, he cries a lot. He can't stop crying. <laughs> Can't stop uh, crying, Macho. Paddington 3. Wait, is Macho? If, is it about hey, Macho Man? Hey, hey, if there's a Paddington three, there we've is. We've got to get a tre- we've got to get a Trevor reference in there. Uh, I think it's already done. What do you mean, it's like already done? It's I think no. I think they're shooting it. Oh, you're right. Like I think contact right. the production and be like, you guys, our, our, friend, <laughs> hey, our dead like, friend, yeah, love show you. Show them all of the tweets. <laughs> all of the t- like, I mean, how many Paddington tweets does Trevor have? Like just you do gotta a scene. do like an Easter egg, just a little. Just do a scene where there's another bear, and it's like tall and lanky, and it's got like a scruffy beard, and and it keeps <laughs> drinking White Claw, and every <laughs> once in a while, it's got a big floppy boner. 
<laughs> it's got a point. Yet, all right. <laughs> All right. Jesus there's, loves cocaine donated sixty nine dollars. Says I went to work sick years ago and sharded during a coughing fit. I went to the bathroom and it was so bad, so I went home and never went back. It was my first week. That's the story. <laughs> That's great. I'm, I'm lost. A ton Shay donated two hundred bucks. Thanks, bud. Says love you guys okay. dearly. There's no one I'd rather spend my nine eleven with. Welcome, welcome, Thank welcome you. all. I kept um, thinking that sharding thing was going to reference us somehow, but then it just I think stopped. maybe it had something to do with your ice cream story, Tim. Mm. Oh, but that wasn't real. I, like, uh, it was real. <laughs> that did happen. I shot all through that. That was, that was you and Trevor, uh, you know, the, your whole Timmy's. No, Trevor life. told me exactly what happened, that you went to work at an ice cream parlor, and on your first day you ate so much ice cream that you had such bad diarrhea you couldn't go to work the next day, and you got fired. And you know right, what? So Anyone this is, listening? This is how I know that that tr- that story holds up. He's been telling me that story for twenty <laughs> years, ever since like day two after it happened. So that's yeah. how I know. After that story occurred, you mean? Yeah, yeah. It, it's it's yeah. Don't real. Yeah. yeah. Uh, Breeder <laughs> Pan know. donated a hundred dollars and says, "When was the last time you guffawed out loud?" I think I did it tonight. I don't know. Guffaw. Guff- guffaw. Yeah. Oh. The, uh, yeah. I come back. Damn right, 626 donated, said, can you read more of Trevor's unmade sketch email sometime? I would pay to hear them all. Uh, you know what, Sam? We should read American Legends, since now that Trevor's dead, we're never going to be able to shoot American <laughs> Legends. And it's so fucking funny. Yeah. It's so fucking good. Yeah. I don't know it. I'm down. It's a uh, pilot that we were going to self-produce. It's like 15 minutes, and it's fucking awesome. And that, that really hurts that we're not going to get to make that. I, Popo we should... donated 59. What? I would also love to do a reading of the early end of the world drafts. Yeah. Oh, also Trevor, wait, Sam found a, a, a sketch Trevor wrote. <laughs> it's so fucking yeah. funny. It is It is funny. No. It is like satire. I don't think it's, it's not homophobic. It's only homophobic if you don't get it. Yeah, right. it, it, it's not yeah. homoph- like it is. It is in that way, though, that like people could take it out of context very easily right. in like but because it's satire it is. it's it's a like straight stream on the internet i mean it'd be very easy for I, someone to, you don't want to do it if on we the were to read that right now it. it'd be very easy for someone to snip us saying parts of it and just put it out there yeah. out of yeah, context no good. all right like, yeah, the, design, real bad. the design of a sketch is like if homophobics like made a sketch yeah like that's that's the design of it it, is. Like, oh, yeah. it it would get taken the wrong way all right let me let me keep going here Popo donated 59 bucks as RIP Trayvon Moore, but for real, thanks for bringing so much light to the world, guys. Big personal shout out to Timmy for not talking about anxiety, ADHD, imposter syndrome earlier in the month. For talking, sorry, I said for not talking, for talking about it. Uh, much needed to many. Let's go to the Mars Dollars. Uh, Nick, Timmy, you're getting a lot of love today. That's yeah. really funny. Like much, much thanks to Timmy for not talking. I'm like, I know that a lot of people feel that way <laughs> every time. I'm Nick Electricity sure. donated 100. Thanks, buddy. Says, happy 20th anniversary, guys. Could Darren tell my girlfriend that I love her? Her name is Ashley, and I'm too embarrassed to say it myself. Ashley Madison? <laughs> I love you, Ashley. No, he said, tell her that he loves her. No, I love you, Ashley. Oh, man. Well, <laughs> That's what he asked me to do. No, right? no it's not. It's clearly not. But I didn't remember Zach saying, that it didn't say like, hey, Zach, tell Darren to, to hit up my girlfriend. <laughs> <laughs> Did Rick and Morty, Rick and Morty, Rick, uh, donate 50 bucks? They seem upset. I, I'm, I haven't gotten to them. Okay. Mild at heart donated, said niche, but I ordered a seed shirt like 10 years ago and never got it. Heckle other for me, please. Don't know what that means. What's a seed what, 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 what? shirt? I don't know. Hyphen Potamus in the city donated, said, I'm wearing my sex pot shirt. Love you guys to Mars. Enjoy the shirts. Wear it with pride. Allegra G, or Allie Gregg, as I will always call her, says, thank you all so much for everything. Well, thank you, Allie. Sup, Allie Allie Gregg. Was that me or Trevor that did that? That was me, right? That fucked that up? No, that was me. Well, no, the reason called I think it was also Greg Johnson. Didn't I do it? Did did we all do it at different times? I guess we all did it. (laughs) <laughs> Critical Moment donated 75 said, how much to get y'all eating some butt napalm inducing hot sauce again? Can we oh. re- revisit that discussion? No? <clears throat> Dude, uh, we're all like 40 now. <laughs> well, I was, all, I was 40 just, when I did it. You're already 40. That's right. <laughs> I was like, about Sam that and I, well, bad. Sam's not 40 yet. Sam, get it out, baby. 
<laughs> I thought the question was, how much to get you to eat some uh, butt napalm? I was like, what the I, fuck is butt napalm? I was like, can we get you guys to start eating ass again? You guys are like, I know Timmy eats ass. He's a millennial. Let's get the other guys in here. But napalm's like when you're eating ass and they just start Everybody shitting. Everybody pull up an ass. Hey, uh, my mom's watching tonight. What's up, mom? Oh, How you doing? You know what's is really funny? watching? Yeah, she is. She just texted me. She texted me when I was driving here, like, how do I get into this? I was like, oh, boy. But I said, so does your mom she get the it. whole thing about how we were talking about eating ass and Trevor said only millennials eat ass? And then you were, like, made a big deal of saying, hey, guys, I am a millennial. <laughs> wink, wink. It was like, message received. Timmy eats ass. Dude, you know what? I love my mom. She probably, she, well, maybe she does know. Mom, text me if you know what eating ass means. So anyways, so we'll see if she texts me. Do you think me. there's a world where your mom doesn't know what eating ass means? <laughs> I don't know. She probably does. She's pretty, an adult person. She's pretty chill, you know. I mean, we we know she has sex with your dad. Well, now I'm wondering if I know what eating ass she means. She tells you. In my it. mind, eating ass means shoving your tongue into the asshole. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, There's, she's not, there's nothing more to it than that, right? She says, yes, I do. There's a little she bit says, of yes, love in And she's tenderness. got more of a message coming here. She says, yes, I do. And? Not, and then she says, not anymore, Sam. What did you say? They, they, Something about having I think maybe Sam... At, oh, what? that she has sex with your dad. Oh, she says, not anymore. <laughs> I hope dad's not watching. <laughs> <laughs> he texts her, he's like, Timmy, I'm a millennial, too. Um, Eureka Franklin donated 50 says love you your guys your mom's like back. You what she's still writing another message oh she said alright that's her joke she said not anymore Sam he's asleep Ba-dum. oh 10 points to mom what, what if it was like not anymore and your dad just stops washing the dishes or something <laughs> <laughs> what ah! 10 minutes later my dad's knocking on the door like I'm crashing here now <laughs> Oh, yeah. Uh, Timmy, call your mom. Yeah, yeah let's get her on. Let's oh get her my on. god, you guys, this is a bad idea. She's gonna ham it up. She's she's worse than me. She's I don't think I've ever met your mom or yeah, heard you your have. mom's voice. Yeah, you guys, have, you guys have all met my mom. That was you in a wig. Hey, hey, what? Hey, there she is. What's up, mom? Nothing, just me. Just what? Oh, okay. How are you enjoying this? Have you ever you you have you watched this before? Have you watched this before? Yes. Okay. <laughs> Do you know? Yes. Oh, you have. Okay. No, can you hear me? Is she on speakerphone. I can't hear her. He's on speakerphone. So, hey. No, you're I've... on my speakerphone. <laughs> Mom's on the internet, right? Uh, yeah, yeah mom's Welcome on back the- to Mom's on the Internet. <laughs> Welcome back to Mom's on the Internet. So is that, I'd love is, to know is, what, what your mom's favorite Whitest Kid sketch is. Yes, Mom, what's your favorite Whitest Kid sketch? I'm pretty sure I know, but you'd say it. Are you there? Yes, I'm here. I'm trying to think. Oh, you're trying to think. Okay. It's not really a sketch. It was that stupid little thing. Oh, shut. You, and Derek, you and Derek, I knew it. She, you're the burglar. Yeah, yeah. I told you not to wear that today. Yeah. yeah. No, we count that as a sketch because you yeah. know we got to count everything as a sketch because I mean most of our stuff doesn't end. So. <laughs> hey, uh, I got a question for your mom. Sam's asking a question. Okay. Uh, is is that is that fat fucking cat still alive? <laughs> what the fuck are you doing? Yes. I okay. I thought that cat would have had a heart attack. It's so fucking fat. <laughs> what are you doing? Why are you what cussing you at his mom? No, it's good. My mom, my mom, that cat my was mom goes huge. Clearing. That cat yeah, was huge. huge. You weren't here, you man. Were around. You, have you seen the big cat stream? Ooh. No. Mom, mom, I'm gonna let you go. I love you. Thank you for watching. Wait, 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 wait. I have oh, wait, wait, wait. Hold on. They have a question. Hold on. What, what, what? Has she seen baked beans? And what does she think of it? Have you have you seen the baked bean sketch? Yes, where they shoot the baked beans at you. Yes, well, that's the behind the scenes. I you've mean, you've seen the, the behind sketch, sketch. You, you've seen the behind the scenes. Have you seen the whole sketch though? Like where I'm, it's like a phone sex commercial. Have you seen that? I I think so. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> there is, you guys. There's one thing. 
maybe tonight's the night. Maybe not or Trevor. He, he loves it when I get embarrassed. So there's one thing I've never wanted to, my mom to know about or hear or experience that I did with whitest kids. Do you guys know what it is? I know well, you I, suck I, that, that dick. No. No, the, the intro to the CD. Oh. I always thought that would like break my mom's heart to hear me talk like that. <laughs> Oh, Mom, yeah. there's an audio sketch that uh, it's it's bad. Anyways, I, I hate to break it to you. Step. Yes, I have heard that. What did you think about it? I thought it was sad. <laughs> <laughs> God, you know what? There's though? not a more hurtful word that that she could no, use. No, there's than not. Sad. You know what though? She's she's kind of right though. It is like a sad. It's like a sad. Oh, I think it's thing. awesome. I mean, I love it. I love it too. But it's okay. Mom, are yeah. you eating gummy? Are you eating gummies? You drinking? What are you doing? You partying? Oh me? Yeah. What are you you eating? You rolling on something or what? What's going on? No. <laughs> I got some new muscle relieving CBD. I got some new pain relieving CBD stuff. I was. All right. Well, 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 well. Play the reggae music. All Mommy right, Chong over now. here. We're done. We're done. I gotta. I gotta explain the. We gotta explain the fat cat to Zach. I'm gonna go. I gotta do uh, donos. Or I'll be get behind here. Okay. I, I already fucked up some. Getting high with dinosaurs donated seventy five. So cheers to Mars and uh, to keep Travis's memory alive. Uh, Rick and Morty. Morty Rick donated 50. See, I got to it. it says, yeah. R.I.P. Travis Scott. I took my Klonopin and now I'm crying at the whale world. And whenever Trevor plays a student, he taught me how to make meth when I was 10. Aww. Uh, That's now, how you make it. Palaicthon donated. Said, classic Travis. Always late to the stream. Dude never misses except the trampoline. Oh, somebody's. I think that's somebody's theory of how Trevor died. <laughs> right? That's what, I'm, that's what I'm guessing from that. Yeah. Uh, Flowers donated $420.69. Thank you, yes. Flowers. It says, you guys should play Jenga. Also, Stephanie, let's go to the Bahamas. Stephanie, go to the Bahamas with this Who's person. Stephanie? Yeah, Stephanie, you know. go to the Bahamas. I think Who's Flowers... Stephanie? Who's Stephanie? Who's Stephanie? I think Flowers suggested that uh, we, we premiere Mars at Red Rocks, and <laughs> I think it's going to be kind of hard to book Red Rocks, is all I'm I, saying. Well, last podcast like. on the left just booked Red Rocks. Oh, really? Yeah, oh, let's yeah. do it. I don't think we could pull the crowds that they could pull, but you never know. Uh, Dumb Cumster just donated 50 bucks, says, pretend I donated 69. I met Zach in a bar once. He said he likes to jerk off his dog. I don't remember saying that to anyone in a bar. I'm suspicious. Uh, new Daddy donated 73 bucks, says it's 69 plus 420 cents. Got him. Oh! Phil and, Phil and April donated 100 bucks. says Timmy looks hot with the pigtails. Happy anniversary. It's ours, too. Phil and April, get your son in check. I'm worried about it. <laughs> I'm worried about Bam. Is that Phil and Ape? <laughs> Phil yeah. and Ape? Yeah, I'm worried about Bam. What's 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 happening with him? Do you guys follow Bam on uh, Instagram? No. Is that oh, a good, you should. A good it's, watch? It's, it, if you're into Instagram profiles where it's people like, spiraling out of control and it's a shitty thing to say but like he's posting it i mean i'm just looking at it but yeah it's it's crazy <laughs> uh fiat knox donated 100 says this is what you make me do when you don't charge on patreon uh thanks buddy i appreciate that pepperoni pizza man said hi timmy's mom the fat fucking cat donated said watch your back sam i'm not fat i'm fluffy and i'm not <laughs> declawed <laughs> no she's fat she's fat no, as shit uh, she's yeah. so fat why you gotta cuss at his mom? How's that fat fucking cat doing? Still alive? I'm just saying that fat fucking cat's fat as shit. It's funny. I don't know, man. Uh, <laughs> Chaos Theory ninety seven donated one hundred and four dollars and twenty cents. Says thanks for streaming tonight. Happy anniversary, fellas. Can't think of anything else as monumental to celebrate today other than your group's inception. Oh, and to Mars. I'm taking. We, a we, well, we didn't just just so that people know is yeah. that that the groups did not start on September 11th. Right. We were already a, a comedy troupe before that. The yeah. group got we, good on September 11th. We met Timmy on September, and you didn't even join until like a month or two later. Yeah, a couple months later, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. No, we just like, that's when I became their friend. Uh, Cause I, I hung out with you guys on the floor that Sam and I lived on, and uh, on 9-11, and then Sam left, you and Zach, uh, Sam and Zach left, and went down to what was Zach and Trevor's room, and Sam said before you guys left, sorry to out you as a nice person, Sam, but you said, hey, man, it was cool hanging out with you. 
And then a little bit later, you called my room phone because we didn't have cell phones, and you were like, "You yeah. want to help us find yeah. some? We're gonna look for some weed. Do you want to come?" I'm like, "Yes." Like, to, like nine <laughs> eleven just happened. Yes. Mm-hmm. So I came down to your room, and I hung out with the two of you guys. I don't think we ever found weed, but uh, at, at some point, a large, tall man kicked open the door and looked at me and noticed we had the same Velcro shoes on. And he looked at me. He says, "Like, I just drank something that was black," and he was like completely fucking obliterated. And that was uh, my first interaction with Trevor. So yeah. He Almost said, exactly. I just drank something that was black? Wow. That's what he yeah. said. He said that, and then he looked down, and we both had the same cheap, like, gray Kmart fucking Velcro shoes, you know? And uh, he was like, we have the same shoes. I'm like, yep. That was, like, our first interaction. Yeah. That's when he used to drink water. No, that was when the group started. The group started uh, a while before that, but yeah. So should we talk uh, about... Um, like I, what videos we want? What were we gonna say, Sam? Oh, I, I have a funny story uh, that I just found out that I think you, you guys are all there for is uh, I found out about how insane Josh Fadem's first time playing our show is. Is that interesting or no? I, I mean, no. I remember it being amazing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. But I, I didn't realize the backstory on this. Do you know he was like not really doing that much stand up at that time? Like he'd barely started doing stand up. Huh, really? And, so he was at a party in LA that he crashed with Chad Fogland and they were like sitting in the corner and they were like just like making jokes and not talk they're just talking to each other and my friend John Ford walks up to him and goes hey you guys are funny you guys are funny you guys co- comedians or something and Josh was planning on going to New York and he was like yeah I, I I'm gonna start doing stand-up I was gonna go do some open mics in New York and he goes you you should go see Sam. You go see my friend Sam. He's in a group to called the whitest kids you know. The whitest look him up. And Josh was like, okay. And he's like, yeah, I'll put you up. Just go to the whitest kids you know. And like and like Josh, Josh sure. And so he goes to New York and like afterwards he like looks up online he like searches for us and we have like nothing online about us because this is back when like we would have had to make a website and all he could find was a pianos listing from like months previous that was like a sunday night at 9 p.m whitest kids and so he goes at 9 p.m and we started at 8 p.m then catches the end of the show and then is like looking around for us and apparently it was packed that week and he's looking around for me and apparently he saw Darren and goes like, Hey, is, is Sam here? And Darren goes, turns to, he says, this is what he says. He goes, he, Darren yells, Hey, is Sam here? And someone goes, nah, he did too much Coke last night. <laughs> he went home. <laughs> wow. And so Josh, like not knowing any of us was like, Oh, these guys are hardcore. Like they had this packed show. They're doing Coke all the time. It's not- it's not out of the realm of possibility that you had done a lot of coke the night before. No, no, yeah. but I mean, it's not like a regular occurrence that I was like, I wasn't like right. fucking. I don't know. Seventies, <laughs> like David Johansson or anything, you know. Uh, yeah. <laughs> but so so then he's like, hey, uh, so uh, Sam said or. or Sam's friend, I'm friend of Sam's friend, and he said I could at, talk to Sam about doing the show. And Darren was like, "Sure, come by next week." And he's like, "Really?" And he's like, "Yeah." And so that's how Josh got booked on the show. But he had no contact with any of us, and yeah. and he never was, did stand up. He like he did some he open mics started. that week. He would he <clears throat> just started apparently. He, he did wow. some open mics that week, and then he went to go to the show, and. I remember that week he like comes up to me before the show because Darren's like, hey, your friend's friend is doing the show. I was like, my friend's like, what are you talking about? And then he comes up to me and he's like, "Uh, hey, I I met John Ford in L.A. And I'm like, "Okay." (laughs) (laughs) And then I remember that week we didn't know. And this is back when we would have two openers and then a closer to the show, which is not how you book a comedy show. If you're getting people to come to your show, you fucking headline that show. (laughs) I forgot that we did that. So people would always walk out of our closers. They would always leave. So anyway, so we're like, who should we have close? And usually we would know someone and we would have a friend close and we didn't know anyone that week. And so... (laughs) We're like, and I was like, uh, I guess Josh is here from LA. I mean, 
I guess that means something. Should Josh close? And we're like, yeah, Josh should close. And wow. <laughs> so we go up to him and we're like, all right, hey, you're closing. And he's like, what? And he's like, yeah, we're going up <laughs> after. And he like doesn't want to say the wrong thing. And But he's also like, holy shit. Like, this isn't right. This isn't how anyone <laughs> does. <laughs> and... And we're like, and so the show starts, and I remember a sketch group went up that was like three dudes in a sketch group. I forget what they were called, but they were first, and they did pretty good. And like, this was in a period where we didn't have a lot, like, a lot of times the openers would kind of like, there was a good chance that an opener would like kill the energy, you know? We would have like three three people playing with us, one of them would be solid, the other two likely to be like, just having trouble it wasn't a, 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 a warm room always and then the second comedian was mike dobbins and the first time mike <laughs> dobbins played and so right, he like that. destroyed and then we went Amazing. up and we had like a really good set and so josh is just freaked out and i remember at this point like i was also like freaked out because i was like i was he was my guy like he was i was the one who vouched for this guy and i was like oh i don't want to ruin the show i don't be responsible for this and then he gets up and he does this thing where he like Duh! and like i like my heart stopped like I sincerely thought he was fucking it up so hard early, and then you realize that's his bit is is fumbling the mic, and it's like the best that's ever done. Right. I don't know, it was amazing, and he crushed. Yeah. I he forgot crushed. that Dobbins and Fatum were our first experience with both of them were on the same show, right? Like, yeah. And uh, I, mean, we, I just remember leaving like, wow, because <laughs> like, those are two of the craziest stand-up performers we we have ex- I would interacted with. You know? So surprised to find out how early on in Josh's whole thing that was. Because didn't he already have the "Then I kicked her out of the helicopter" joke then too, which is yeah, a fantastic yeah. joke, and the Back to the Future joke. I mean, he had some good stuff. I just he the did whole his stumbling the whole stumbling, stumbling thing over for five like, minutes. Yeah, that went so on forever. Amazing. My favorite part was like, "You'll never play this club again." Oh, I'm yeah. sorry, Mister Jacob. <laughs> and like, over and like, which eventually he stopped doing that part. But like, uh, when I mentioned it, he was like, "Oh yeah, I used to do that." And I was like, "It's great." Yeah, I don't know. And he he eventually did a one man show that was just falling down. Thirty minutes. Yeah, falling down. it was pretty good. Yeah. yeah. Pretty good. And then he did a um, thing with Matthew Barney. Yeah, he did. Really? Yeah. That's yeah, crazy. Yeah. Uh, and then he did a thing recently he was telling me about in in uh, Oklahoma where he was going to he hired a film crew. He like raised money to do a show uh, to film him doing like a set and he got really drunk and he like blew it and he was like really embarrassed and like he was like too drunk on stage. He like fucked up like real bad. I think he might have even thrown up on stage. Wow. Um, but now I think he's got all the footage of it. And I think it's like, I, I'm trying to, he, I think he wants to like turn it into something. It's like the biggest wow. disaster, like his biggest onstage humiliation. He happens to have covered from like all these different camera angles. So I'm like, <laughs> dude, that's a miracle. Like that's gonna yeah. be incredible. Like, yeah, he's so good. It's like, he doesn't have, have you to- Have you seen it? Any of no, it? I, I really want to. Yeah, I'd love to see uh, that. I mean, Josh is amazing. I think one of the best stand up sets I ever saw, honestly, was Josh. Um, a couple years ago. Anyway, what are, let me do some of these donos because because they start to, I, I lose them if I don't. Yeah, them. yeah. Um, a ton Shay said uh, donated a hundred bucks. Says please forward this money directly to Timmy's mom. Uh, NMC NM Chow Art said uh, I sold some. We're still going to Mars doll liquor stickers and magnets to raise funds for Mars. Hoping to contribute more in the near future. But here's your cut so far. Thank you very much. Mommy Chong donated. Said uh, please use this for don't use this for Mars but for cat diet food for that fat fucking cat. Free to play squid said, Timmy's bringing the high caliber DIL DILF energy tonight. <laughs> Always baby. Have you seen my vape donated 200 bucks says to Mars cult of bill. Nikki 40 donated said, I'm a therapist and I help people process grief. Just sending a reminder for each of you to take care of yourselves. Oh. An empty teapot cannot pour into, uh, into other cups. Uh, no deal. Uh, <laughs> <Schwingles>. <laughs> Said, uh, Trevor had to die for me to actually donate cash beyond my monthly sub. I think it might be a scam, but here's my money. Well played, Mr. Moore. Well played. <laughs> for real, though. Finding why this kid was a highlight of my life. These dreams have been awesome. Thank you very much. Craiger is daddy. Says, Timmy, I like your zucchini boys, but I love your little Timmy pig dick tails. You make Aww. me cut my ass off. 
I Ow. once threw up baked beans on the wall of my boyfriend's place after only dating six weeks. Now he's my husband. Baked beans, baked true love. Go fuck yourselves, doll liquors. Oh, that was really sweet. Guys, cramp uh, style just just memed all over the place. 25 <laughs> subs. 25 good <laughs> subs. They dropped the memes memed, everywhere. Memed <laughs> Dan the Man 69 said, me being Sam and the other being Christ in Icelandic. We just finished watching the documentary Civil War on Drugs. Is it historically accurate? Anyways, Sam is the most beautiful outside of Iceland. I, wow. Uh, Uretha Franklin donated, said, love you guys. Thanks for coming back on the stream. Can't wait to go to Mars, baby. RIP Tremor more. Uh, I know I kid you guys streaming again really helps us all for real. Oh, that's good. I only have two more. Mother Teresa said, my first day at the Omaha coffee shop I worked at, Timmy showed up. He ordered a black coffee and paid with cash. My trainer had walked away for like five minutes and didn't believe me when I said I met Timmy. Huh. Tre Tre Do you remember that, Timmy? Uh, no, I mean, I've only been to a few coffee shops there. Maybe I don't remember if they knew the name. I can't remember. Uh, Ouch. and then Trevor came and went, says, watching with my new kitten, Trevor. His birthday is April 4th, and no one wanted him because his face is jacked up. <laughs> Gonna feed him ramen and Slim Jim. <laughs> All right, done with donuts for the moment. That's funny. so. Do you guys want to talk about like what we should show? So Trevor, we're doing a memorial show on uh, in like two weeks. Mm -hmm. We're going to show some videos of Trevor. We can't show a ton, but like what would be the best things for us to show? I think first, I know I want to show the video from Newsboys of Trevor telling the story of taking ecstasy late at night and like calling his yeah. parents and grandparents and stuff. Uh, and if somebody can, there's a YouTube video of just that story. If somebody could find that and send it to me, uh, I would appreciate that. Um, it's just that <laughs> you don't story. want to scroll through the hours and hours. And I don't remember what episode. I don't remember like I didn't. But I there's just the a, there's a video of just that, right? Yeah, yeah, I don't know how to find it. <laughs> that seems know. easy. How does YouTube work? That I don't seems even know. easy. How do you go to YouTube? U T O O. <laughs> no, okay. Zach, this might be a surprise, but other people actually spell out the word "you." They don't do it how we do it. And just put a now letter. That's called you. trolling, right? What you're doing right now? That's called a no, troll. No, no. I'm being sincere. Someone being sincere. in chat just suggested that we show horses love stegosauruses. Yes, we will definitely show oh, horses. We'll... He said he wanted it at his funeral. Without mm -hmm. a doubt. Um, I I think we should show autoerotic asphyxiation. I think that's I a great so. idea. Because it's his ghost. So, why not? We huh? could make a whole bit like we have the footage. We're going to show it <laughs> for the first time. Everyone wants to know how Trevor died. We're just going to show you. So you can all quit asking and then show autoerotic asphyxiation. Huh. And then be like, the, the end was made up. He actually went to hell. <laughs> um, Sam I, said, and maybe it's too long, but uh, I think John Williams like is a good like what it's so huge, long. Huge. It yeah, is like long, but minutes. it's like it's so Trevor that sketch. Yeah, that's you know? true. It is super Trevor. Like that, or like John Wilkes Booth is a very Trevor sketch. Um, we got to show him doing the the flag from Civil War on Drugs. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. A woman with big yeah. whoppers. We got to do yeah. that. Yeah, God. Yeah. So that funny. that to me is like my favorite Trevor. Yeah. We got to show Kitty history. Should we Should we be making a list? Yeah, I was. I brought up a doc and I stopped doing it. Uh, what are we talking? Well, about? is this being recorded? These uh, white claws. Are, are you gonna go back and watch it, or we can just make no. the list now? We should. We yeah, should ask someone to, if they can perform Kitty history. Uh, oh, sniper boss. That's an interesting idea. Yeah, sniper business. I don't think sniper, so. I don't think so. You don't think sniper business? He's great in that. Oh, somebody said it's Newsboys episode 10. Thank you. Oh, um, do you remember... Is, does, can, I, can someone find... I've been looking for the clip when Trevor talks about uh, uh, his birthday. I think we talked about it on stream at some point where he talked about wanting to do a, a, a party for himself and invite a bunch of people that never show up. Wait, he talked about that? I think so. I don't remember that. Wait, yeah, Pop-Tart, I'm scrolling through. I'm looking for I mean, your dono. I don't have it, my man. I'm sorry, Pop-Tart. It's, it's not here. It must not have gone through. And I, yeah. Um, God says, wash your hands. I don't think so. Yeah. Someone said Tartos. <laughs> oh, you know what he did? Tartos is fucking great, but. I don't oh, Clint Webb? Good. What about Clint Webb? Clint oh, Webb. Clint Webb's great. That's pretty good. You want to put that on the list there, Tim? 
What about um, and, uh, oh, uh, dumb. News Adam's going to show the cash cab. Yeah, yeah. Oh, that's what oh, he's showing. Good. good. Wow, what about great. dumb newscast? <laughs> that's funny. <laughs> the, the Saturday. The, Trevor loved Saturday. Did. Yeah. That's a wholesome, that's a good optimistic. One. Yeah. We should see if Race we can get the, the original one of that with the with the the who. Yeah. Baba O'Reilly. Um the new thing, I don't think so. Somebody says we get to, Dumb we Newscast get is such a sleeper. That. Does that mean it is like boring or does that no, mean it means it, like it's uh, under uh, underrated? Yeah. They See? like uh, that's actually in our worst tournament bracket uh, of sketches. I don't like that worst that? tournament sketches bracket. So many sketches. Wait, so there's well, another tournament for what's the worst sketch? Yeah. Oh, brutal! Yeah. What's what? What one? I don't know. We should go check it out. It starts out oh, at oh, like like there's yet. like hundreds of sketches, so it's like. Is Grapus the worst sketch? And it's like, well, no. Like, that was it, the winner of the other tournament. Why is that in here? I don't think that's in there, though. But I think like, it was. There are some really good sketches in there, yeah. Oh, the flagship intro. Blaze Like It's 9-11 said, and that's, we the definitely flagship need intro, that. Yeah. 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 Tim, you put that on there? Yeah. Um, I'm going to kill the fart. president. Is that a good idea? Fart dinner. Yeah. Fart dinner is oh fart dinner! Oh. You have so much time doing that fucking fart stuff. Fart dinner is oh. so funny. That's really good. That is good. Who? Yeah, did someone in chat say His that? His fucking like, face. Oh my it's so, god. It's, oh, here goes. Oh, 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 this is the big one. The fart doctor. Oh. <laughs> god. He believed me. He believed me. <laughs> that's we like would that. be just standing somewhere doing something like we'd be anywhere out in public and he would just start doing that fart shit with his mouth <laughs> like, oh my god man and then he oh, turned into a fucking sketch you know, it's funny oh, is I, was, I was talking to amy zach you're there we were talking to amy last night and she was talking about uh uh sketches that like she was there like for like the inception of or like there's parts of of and fart dinner is definitely like oh that's Amy's parents. That's Trevor meeting Amy's parents. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> it's funny. Amy's dad was talking about the first time they had dinner with Trevor and he was so nervous he didn't want to drink any alcohol around them. So they're, they're at like a nice dinner late at night and he orders a coffee. Oh which to God. me isn't that weird, but to, to Amy's dad, it was like, this kid's ordering coffee at dinner? Like with his <laughs> meal. It was like with the food. It wasn't like after yeah. dinner. It was like, right. I'll just have like the spaghetti and a coffee. <laughs> <laughs> that is weird. That is yeah. weird. That is, that is you have it after. It's like a later dinner. If it's like eight or nine o'clock and you're starting with coffee. That's little... Yeah. Oh, uh, the invincible that. kid sketch. That's, that's pretty funny. D Darren's I like part I am. Oh, poor I Miss. Definitely. I am doing a minimum dono. It's 50. It's 50 tonight, guys. Sorry. That's life, baby. Welcome to Hollywood. Here's what I have so far. I probably missed some stuff. Uh, Kitty history. Uh, Newsboys conversation about ecstasy. Uh, Civil War flag monologue. Clint Webb. Saturday dumb newscast. Flagship intro. Fart dinner. Invincible kid. Any others that I missed? Oh, uh, Shark Boy. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, really? No. That's, no. It's like the worst sketch ever made. <laughs> Um, Is it, did it win that contest? Can we watch? Oh, yeah. oh Jesus can we Christ. watch? I have a request. Can we watch one sketch tonight? And yeah. can that sketch be the the foot fuck sketch? That you uh -huh. fucked my foot. <laughs> this guy's trying to fuck my foot all the yeah, time. I'm yeah. I don't remember. I don't remember. Uh, that's a, what is our that? feet's touched. Our feet's our touched. Feet touched. I think yeah, we called that the best. foot touch. Oh, go. Oh, gross. Gay sketch. <laughs> <laughs> I remember that now. God. I want to watch that so bad. God, hey, we're we're do some donuts. Sam, will you pull that up and I'll read some donuts? All right. Yeah. 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 All right. Hedge sickle in the city donated. Said Timmy, please show us the picture of that fat fucking cat. Pretty please. <laughs> 
Yeah, yeah, and uh, I've been receiving texts from family members about the fat cat, so I'll, I'll get to that later. And then I said I wouldn't read any donos under $50, but I'm gonna read this one. It says, Zach's dog's dick donated, and says, <laughs> I'm gonna need a stroke and get over here forevermore. All right, I don't know why I read that, but sure. Uh, X Fried Toe X donated says, Sam, you are worth it. Very sweet. Oh. I talked to Pineapples donated said, hearing you guys laugh is medicine for my heart. Thank you. You're well, thank you. Molly donated, Molly WKK, our, our oh, hero. Hey, Molly. Donated. Yeah, yeah. Hi, Molly. She said, Allegra and I are gonna sneak on set of Paddington 3 in place of tribute for Trevor slash Travis. They'll never know Darren is welcome to join us. <laughs> <laughs> I think there's supposed to be a period there. They'll never, They'll know, never know Darren is Darren welcome, is welcome to, join to join us. us. Okay. Uh, what they'll man. never know is that Darren is invited. Well, they will now if they're watching this. You fucked it up, Molly! By tribute, uh, do they mean like a picture of Trevor covered in cum? I don't know. <laughs> huh? Right, hey, what's up, Timmy's family? <laughs> <laughs> they don't give a shit. Uh, the tribute uh, porn's like when people like come on a picture of someone, right? And then show a picture of them coming on the picture. It's yeah. a crazy, that it's a yeah. crazy yeah. thing. Palaic Fon donated, said uh, someone made an edit of Trevor's Beastie Boys impression with music in it from Newsboys. That would be a nice 15 second clip to show. Yeah, I watched that. That was really cool. He goes, a B C D E F G, and they like totally synced it up. It was really good. <laughs> uh, Link Plur donated fifty. Says my wife and I are drinking Patron and Lacroix in honor of Travis tonight. Never forget. Better yet, always remember. Not a single penis plane hit Tallywhacker Seven ever. Love you guys to Mars. Um, the Black Metal Cowboy donated eighty dollars and eight cents. Said here's a boob donation for you, fine gents, to Mars. Pop Tart three six nine seven donated fifty bucks. Says, "Don't judge, but I spent four hundred dollars this week on old WKUK DVDs. Please make more DVDs, Aww. like a special edition Blu-ray of Mars or something. I would absolutely buy. That is very kind of you. Um, I don't no. think we're gonna be making DVDs. We're not gonna, yeah, I mean, it, principal it, roles. It, make a VHS. Maybe. That's funny. I don't know. Principal Rolls donated, said, so great to see you guys. Thanks for the stream to Mars. Thank you. And Owaka Ka Moonshine donated a hundred bucks, says, was Trevor able to make a batch of moonshine with his still? He never got this. If so, how was it? He never got the still up and running. He had it. I didn't even uh, know he had it. So, he had it. Yeah. yeah. Uh, I think I think we're going to, uh, I think Amy's going to get it to the, the Mr. Pickles guys. Will? Will Kershaw. Oh. Mm. That's cool. Yeah. Those guys came to the funeral and they were like the, they were so clearly like, oh, like they're just like, they're cool guys. I like them very, very much, but they're just, they like stand out. They're like all tatted up bearded biker dudes. It's yeah. Like, oh, those who guys. are all these rockers at Trevor's funeral? <laughs> oh, right. <laughs> Mr. Yeah, Pickles. It's, it's the guys that are making whiskey with him. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you, uh, you know what was a funny thing was, uh, uh, I hope this isn't bad. We were talking about like we we're. I was talking with Amy about like ideas to like of stuff to put on the stone that's gonna go by the tree for him in the the cemetery, and she was like, "What about never miss?" And I was like, "Yeah, you can't put never missed on the tombstone." <laughs> Trevor Moore never missed. You can, he he never missed. He never missed. <laughs> I'm just now getting it. Yeah. yeah. I get it. I got it. Yeah. Yeah. Trevor Moore never missed. <laughs> wow, Sam. It's funny. Somebody. I was looking at a at a uh, a Reddit post on the whitest kids thing today, and some something. Ah, oh, fuck it. I'm bailing on this story. Um. Never mind. Timmy, you want to do some art? Yeah, dude, I'm actually just looking at some now. There is a fucking shitload of it. Did well, you guys you guys didn't put any in the thing, did you? I, I mean there's plenty. So there's uh, no, I think there's I, so I think you gotta much. just move through it pretty quick. Yeah, I know. We will. Um Well, you know, and I'm gonna miss being I'm gonna I'm gonna it's gonna make you miss Trevor, because uh, if you're trying to move through a fan art quickly Trevor was always the the main hurdle to moving through. Like every fan art had ten minutes of jokes, you know. So like that's. Well, he was always really good at pointing out like the little details. Yeah, yeah. In yeah. It, you know? Okay, I got you, Timmy. I'll I'll, I'll pick up the slack. I'm yeah, I'm, yeah. I'm here. Sam here we go. Find a way to slow things down. Here we go. Sam never. All right. 
<laughs> I got a couple white claws in me. It's time to get sassy. All right. By the way, the first one of these wasn't good. The second one's great. Oh, okay. the, the white claws. I yeah, thought you were talking yeah, yeah, about yeah. the fan art. I was like, hey, you're kind of being a dick here. So there's a lot of bullshit <laughs> in the fan art. <laughs> no, it's all good. You guys. The first one, you the first just, fan art, you show you one. sucks. Yeah, whenever you see one, Tim, you just call it out. Just yell out bullshit and then move to the next one. <laughs> <laughs> Here's another drawing of Trevor. <laughs> Wait, are, am I doing this right now? Yeah. Yeah. All right, cool, cool. Sam, you gotta hook me up, bruh. Or oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Forgot. Sorry, it's been a while. Alligator yes. Greg donated sixty nine bucks. Says we're gonna make love is the worst sketch. It is so bad it was not even included in the bracket for worst sketch. It is a rigged ballot. Hmm. Mm. So I've got two I different think... folders, so there might be a few repeats, but just bear with me. But uh, there is a lot of it. Uh, Sam, are you, did you are you good? Am I good? Yeah. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Okay, so I'm going uh, alphabetical. I just I just saved the files of the person's name. On these are all off Reddit, and uh, you know if we miss you, we wow. miss you. Sorry, there's tons of art. So, uh, Agaga I, 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 Dagada uh, posted this Trevor Moore magic card, and uh, it's pretty nice. Um, uh, it's uh, the power he has is actually called haste. Okay, so here is a uh, Amish fighter pilot. That's a quote from the Pope rap. I'm not quite sure what's going on with the art. I, it's like Trevor, and he's uh, oh, it's Mars. Okay. That's from when he got his head stuck in that marble. <laughs> right. That was yes. Crazy. Yeah. Uh, yeah, he was wow. banned uh, from the Marble Striker Museum. With a nice painting of Trevor. Very that's nice. Awesome. Oh, that's great. Yeah. It was, uh, yeah. if, if he was like, uh, what's that Japanese erotic gay porn called? Hentai? Yao Guy? It, no, it's oh, oh, you mean just the gay stuff? Uh, I can't remember. All right. There's a name on. for it. This is very That's nice. That's awesome, though. Really yeah. Cool. Oh, all, in fact, you, ha you have all those tapes of it. You don't remember what it's I don't called? know how to pronounce it. Y A O I. Yowie. 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 All right. Uh, here's a big D liquor. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> this is good. Uh, I think they spelled his first name wrong, though. <laughs> yeah. Really good. Uh, here's another great draw. There's some just really fantastic, nice uh, drawings. Yeah, oh, that's really nice. Body catcher. Thank you. Uh, Carl Randon with, I think this is amazing. This is a, a, a Trevor tribute version of the Bowser tattoo. Yeah. Uh, it's white claws. Is that a vape thing, right? It's a vape yeah. thing crossing the white claw. Very good. Party on Trevor. And that fucking hat. Uh, here's another good chop lifter with a cool, stylish thing. A very uh, hot awesome. photo of Trevor there. Yeah. Hey, oh, man. Wait, wait, go back, go back. I don't know. Stuff's happening. Jesus Christ. I don't know what happened there. Okay, cool. Um, did I miss That's one? That's really nice. That's where we're at. I'm sorry, you guys. Jesus. Okay. Uh, Copperhead with this one. So that's uh, that's Trevor from Civil War, right? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, yeah. You could you could do a tribute for Trevor, but did you have to cut me out of the picture? Yes. Come on. That's yeah. part of the deal, Sam. Oh. Uh, so Doctor Naughty did this. This is an old one of Zach, the Wild Zach Newsboys. But the, the reason I put this up is because now they made one for Trevor to pair with it, saying people like you. So it's pretty cool. Cool. Um. Dr. Naughty with this little tribute to Trevor as well. Very nice. I don't know. Seeing this picture really made me sad. I don't know. I guess this one, like, this one hits me hard. Actually, this one makes yeah, me really sad. Right. What is that? What? It's, it's cause it's like, that's the expression of like really happy Trevor. Yeah. Mm -hmm. right. He yeah, was so a, patriotic too. Yeah. Patriotic Trevor. Yeah. That's exactly. Yeah. A long time ago, Trevor and I were walking drunkenly through some park or something, and I don't know, I told him, I think, I think my description of your kind of comedy, Trevor, is anti-government dick jokes. He's like, yeah. <laughs> oh, that's cool. Anyways, uh, so this is a uh, full a for tool 92, great name, made a, uh, made like a graffiti, you know, like a tagging uh, stencil for Trevor. This is a spray paint stencil that they made, and this is the finished, you know, after they used the stencil. So, where are they? Huh? Like, where in the, in the world are they, do you know? I don't know. I'm not sure. I wonder. Like, if I, I wonder I if around some town there's Trevor Moore's on fire hydrants. That'd be and dope. Stuff. Yeah, yo, Fool for Tool, let us know. It, oh, hang on, guys. I got to interrupt this. User 12399987 asked, uh, are any of you uncircumcised? Mm. No. Okay, just checking. Cool. Keep going. I are think you? I made that up, you guys. <laughs> Uh, here's a uh, oh. fuck Lord Magicano with this uh, and see you space cowboys a reference to Cowboy Bebop and I think Trevor would uh, I wonder what he would think of knowing uh, there was an anime reference 
I mean, but Space you know, Cowboy's you know, also Steve Miller. Oh, is it? Okay, mm. so that's probably where it is. Yeah, the Joker. I the, thought it was a book, Cowboy Bebop. But right, the Joker, that's the name of that song? Yeah, Yeah, the Joker is the song. The Space Cowboy, okay. And then there's Fuck Lord's other uh, painting of Trevor, very great. I like that one. Yeah. Yep. Uh, here's one. Give me oh my god! Uh, <laughs> That's uh, from that dominatrix sketch, right? Yeah, the dominatrix. Yeah. yeah. His arms are not that big. Come on. <laughs> very, uh, very giving with the musculature. Uh, here's a great little really kind of tattoo style thing by Gothic Hillbilly. Love that. Uh, here's a really fantastic. Um, oh my god! That's rad. Yeah, really. What do you call these? A kids. montage of like fucking twenty Trevor characters. Very cool. This reminds me of a T-shirt that you have, Zach. Yeah, that built by Wendy shirt that I had. Yeah, very yeah. similar style. I would, cool. I would love there's, a shirt. I would love a shirt like that. There's one. Wait, there's one cartoon in here that I don't know what it's from. So if okay. you start at the cowboy hat, Timmy, put okay. the mouse over the cowboy. Oh yeah. And you go down to his collar, and then to the right. What's that? Who's anarchy? What's that anarchy, anarchy guy. Oh okay. yeah, yeah, yeah. Free, Free movies. movies. Yeah. Free movies. Oh, oh, I didn't see the arms. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That's great. Uh, Heather Page, uh, really oh, great Saturday it. drawing. That's good. Or painting, yeah. Uh, Hellbilly479. What's funny is there's a few That's non Trevor yeah. things that came in here. R.I.P. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> um, this one, I okay. love the, the shirt. Kitty History. Is that from Kitty History? Okay. Oh, right, right, right. Yeah, I knew that. Okay. A uh, horse stegosaurus with now. I guess somebody else did the did the uh, uh, logo or something. But uh, anyways, they posted this. It's uh, I don't know what kind of booze is in there, but that's pretty cool. It says doll liquor. Wait, what do you uh, mean someone a, else did the logo? What? Like we, we it's our logo. What do you mean? No, I mean, but no, but the doll liquor thing. I think where it oh. says doll liquor. Okay. Anyways, I, I don't know. I, I don't catch everything. Uh, so this is uh, a really great painting, obviously. This from the dinosaur sketch or video, right? Huh. Right? Is that what it was? Probably. I don't know. I mean, Probably. why has he got that hat on? I don't know. And the- why is he wearing lipstick? Uh, here's, I don't know if you guys saw this. <laughs> oh, Lucky I the love Luther this. Had this. Which is fucking fantastic. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> <laughs> I never thought I'd be compared to Tobey Maguire, but yet when I saw it, I'm like, yeah, I could have played that guy. <laughs> 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 like a fucking nutcase with the stringy hair who's only in it for 10 minutes. That sounds like me. All right. Uh, and then there's this movie reference also by Left Handed Loser. Fucking dope. Sweet. What movie is this? <laughs> I think um, it's Reservoir uh, Dogs. Pulp, uh, Pulp Fiction. No, no. It's Two Days in the Valley. Um Here's a, that's a nice drawing. Oh, that's awesome. That's like what he wants heaven to be. It's just shooting birds with a flare gun. It's really funny. <laughs> this made it in, I don't know. I uh, left <laughs> this logo for me if I had pork sausage company. Oh, this one's sideways. Shit. Hold on. Oh, God. There we go. That's a nice pencil sketch of Trevor. I like it. My lemon pledge, boy. Uh, here's Man is Nature with another good drawing of Trevor, one of his stand, uh, his comedy specials. I That's uh, that looks like uh, if I had to guess, it was the the story about the Mexico thing. Yes, uh, yeah. probably right. this isn't. That's happening. probably the fattest Trevor ever was. I was gonna say he's like a little pudgy there. I like it. Uh, okay, Morogumi with this uh, pixelated art version. Pretty Very cool. cool. Uh, morning beers with uh, like a mouthwash. Sticker. Label. I don't know. I'm getting a little white clawed. I don't know if this was if this is fan art or if it was made for something else, but it was here with the. Well, it's got a Trevor tweet on it. I would like to play a friend of Paddington. Important. I will not be a villain or anyone who is mean to Paddington. <laughs> <laughs> Offer only. Be <laughs> for schedule. Oh, that's fucking funny. That is really very funny. important. Very important. Not anyone who is mean to Paddington. <laughs> that's so great. Here's a cool uh, red pen sketch of him by Mrs. Booker DeWitt. Negative spell with that. That's uh, whew, there's that. That was a, that was a moment. Those chairs were just there, weren't they? I, they were just there. I know it was really weird. We, like the reception of the funeral was in this room that just happened to have five chairs like that against the wall, and somebody was like, yeah. "You guys should go sit in those." Yeah. Damn. Yeah. Crazy. It's weird coincidence. So hmm? yeah, crazy. Um, Nikki Noxide with this very cool. I drawing. like this one. Yeah, I like I like the styling on the nose and the shadows and stuff. It's very cool. 
Um, Nick of Time with uh, just kind of this old old school reference, but yeah. There you go. Uh, that's all we got there. Okay, here's the candles. So this is Nazna. So she made these, and people messaged her and and uh, bought them from her. And so that's who donated that two grand earlier tonight, as she was donating the money from selling these candles. That's awesome. Mm. So she's making these candles and then giving us the cash for it, you know? So that's very cool. And this is what I meant when I was going like this, which was great, but like, you know, the Santeria candles, you know? So that's, uh, uh, that's great. They're, they're awesome. Um, very good. Here is a, uh, oh, this is so, okay, sorry. Mm, no. This is somebody in Fallout 76 has a team or in their base or something. I don't know about Fallout 76, but anyway, somebody, they found that someone had posted this in the room they went into in Fallout 76. So, huh? This is R.I.P. Trevor Moore, etc. Wait, I don't understand. In the game Fallout 76? Oh, like another I mean, user did this? Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, wow. I don't know much about it. Uh, someone made a Nine Inch Nails album based on our Trent Reznor sketch. Awesome. Jerk the pizza jerk. Uh, here is so I think the lady's like female bender, but obviously there's a great sex robot costume from Dragon Con. <laughs> cool, nice. That's cool. Yeah, maybe cool. Atlanta. Cool. I don't know where that one is. But yeah, that's not the sex robot costume. No, that's why that's a fan made one. Look at the radar. Good, the radar. Though, yeah. yeah, I like the hand. They really use that air conditioning duct or whatever. That's cool. Uh, all right, salted Jazza with this nice one. The only man like to successfully that. teach a whale to jump out of its tail. Nice drawing. Uh, the whitest kid. Oh, uh, yeah. Well, uh, this is a saggy Sammy <laughs> necklace that they made. <laughs> Some Yay! purpose done in 38 minutes. That's so good. <laughs> I love it. That's so um, good. And then we got Suvlaki and Grits had posted oh, a man, bunch that's of these awesome. like that first week that's after great. he passed. Yeah. So there's this, and there's this one. I, I don't know it. what sketch that's from. Uh, Hot Dog Timmy. Yeah, I know. I was kidding. Uh, there's Miss March. There is. Uh, <laughs> That's a great one. Happy and, then, and now, Sam, this is just a picture you guys This took, is a right? picture yeah. at his sister-in-law's wedding. Oh, okay, cool. That we took. That, like, they had a photo yeah, booth, and it was at the very end of the night, and he was like, here, let's do this. And, like, <laughs> did a picture where we were happy. another one by uh, Stay at Home hug. Joe. Oh, sorry, Sam. I didn't mean to cut you off, though. It's okay. It's fine. Okay. Stay he was just Joe trying to do that one. thing. Oh, what's this one? Whoa. So, yeah, they did a stay at home. Joe did a few paintings of Trevor, so they hung them up there. That's those. That's awesome, man. And there's another one by stay at home Joe. And there's some other stuff by them, too. There's another folder I'll get to in a little bit. Man, this is great. Sweet Man Gun with Wear Hats. I, I just got to <laughs> say, like, uh, looking at, like, fan art of our dead friend is, like, such more of a bummer than I thought it would have been. I know. I'm dude, freaking crying. I dude. agree. <laughs> really I mean, so I, listen, I had a real tough day mentally and emotionally because 9-11... Trevor, all that stuff. It's the anniversary of the day. I met you guys. You know, it's crazy. And I came home. I'm like, because I was working this morning at the radio. And I came home. And I'm like, I got to chill out. And instead, I sat here and cataloged fan art. And then I was like even more messed up. And I was like, Fuck, what am I doing? How funny is it that, that the 20th anniversary of 9-11 is like, we're like, oh, man, this is such a bummer because it reminds me of a f friend that I just lost. Uh, yeah, and thousands man. and millions of other people are like, yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Try this time 20 times, shit face. I know, also it's like COVID has killed like so it's many people and continues people. killing so many people. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. I'm going through a really day. hard time right now, guys. Yeah. Someone I know died, okay? Can you believe me? You don't even know. Uh, yeah, life. bro. But I mean, that's I meant, like, like all that's been going on lately. <laughs> the part of it, part of it, by problem day was just actually, you know, the having been, the, you know, the actual event of nine eleven. You know, it's 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 up there. You know, it happened, and it's we were there, and it's weird. You know, it happened twenty uh, years ago. Get over it. <laughs> <laughs> Sylvie Art did it. This, so this is her version of the of that of the uh, uh, cubicle boss thing. Um, here's a cool Ramon style logo. Oh, it's got the uh, it's got the. I didn't notice all the stuff. Yeah. Sex robot yeah. head and it says now you fucked up. And the and weed kind of and gun. the gun. And weed, yeah, that's dope. Uh, Taco Landia with Never Miss. R.I.P. Trevor Moore. Nice little sketch, thank you. Never Miss, Forever uh, Missed. Another one like this, right? Maybe I, maybe the same person posted twice. Is this the same art or no? This is a different art. Okay, cool. Take that, Dylan Farnham. Is this, oh, this this got me. 
I laughed and I also cried a little bit. This is just so beautiful. It's like a stegosaurus with Trevor's beard and hat, like walking off into the sunset, you know? Aww. Very nice. Um, oh, yeah, now we got a bunch oh, of tattoos. Um. Here's Brooks the Bear with a great uh, Trevor tattoo. Uh, Impossible Clock with a good stegosaurus. I think the stegosaurus has sexy lips, right? Like, sure. <laughs> why not? Or a beak. A it's beak, a stegosaurus. Right? I think it's just a regular stegosaurus. They have You're beaks. the one who found you found oh my it God, very that's sexy. So funny. That is that is great. Yeah, that's really that's good. Wonderful. Um, this class of just a good simple stegosaurus tat. No. Uh, this one by Jarvis Cocker. Hey Jarvis, thank you for stopping by. I love your work. <laughs> From pulp. That's awesome. Yeah. Uh, do you want to get down? To lots of good references on there. Um, I would love it if that really was Jarvis Cocker. That'd be amazing. <laughs> <laughs> no, what is kids? Uh, that was a bad uh, impression. Uh, there's Trevor a great Trevor Country. Trevor that's Trevor cool. Tat. Cool. Uh, uh, Caitlin Kelly with another good. I like this. It's like a 3D ish kind of feeling to the way it's shaded. Very good. Um, here's. I'm not sure what the thing was behind this, but it's like a Canadian. It's, uh, apparently, it's like uh, like an alternate version of. Yeah, the, it's like uh, everything's a little different. Okay, all right, cool. I like it's an it. upside down cross. It's a maple leaf instead of a pot leaf. It's okay, like Bizarro cool. Bowser tattoo. Sure, or skateboard says Surfboard, Mario said a Bowser. Okay, cool. I like that. Merry oh. Christmas. For a second, I was like, they left uh, They left one of the T's off of it, and then I'm like, oh no, the T's on the other side. It's on the other side. Uh, oh, then, Sam, when you die, you'll get moved over to that side. Yeah, exactly. yeah. When I die, what I'll is, get moved. Yeah. What is this one? Okay. The church store. A second. It's all set to, oh. it, this is the different mom characters. Yeah, I looked at this for a second too. I'm like, what? It's all the different mom characters that talk about going to the church store. <laughs> That's freaking awesome. I love it. Yeah, it's really funny. It's like, um, I've always wondered, what is the church store? Right. Well, we <laughs> have one. Is. We used to have one in my town. Like, so when whoever wrote that line first, I'm like, oh, I know exactly what that is. We fucking had one of these, you know, just church shit. <laughs> Uh, here's it's a really where I used to get all my Bible Man comics. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. There's a good Trevor. Uh, is it montage when it's stills? Or it's a collage. 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 Uh, Wombat Ballerina with this nice drawing. Is that his soul leaving his body? I think so. Something yeah. like that. It's it, kind of what it says. It's his soul leaving his body and sucking a dick. <laughs> <laughs> That would be really funny, but the bottom one, it was just like jizzing onto his face. Uh, <laughs> soul, soul jizz. Oh my god. Uh, yet another account with that. <laughs> I just love this. It's, it's Sometimes it's a simple, silly shit that just works. Yeah. Like the fucking. You don't gotta put too much thought into it, guys. Just fucking bang it out. <laughs> there it is. A horse fucking a dinosaur. Oh shit, I got five uh, minutes to yeah. get this tribute art in. <laughs> yeah, this, this, I don't know what's happening. I don't god. get it. But I fucking love it. I don't understand what's happening, but I'm glad I, that it happened. I understand it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I know exactly it's what's clear. happening. It's very clear. Yeah, okay, you're right. Uh, That's like the worst on. facial expression picture of me <laughs> ever. Yeah, that looks like one history. taken from some party or something. Yeah, it looks like a, Man, a red hot, carpet. <laughs> that's hot. I'm not even yeah. sure what's happening here. Did you play a merman character? Is it supposed to be you the as manatee, the uh, I think. Okay, the manatee. Okay, cool. Uh, Devil Knievel says, this better not awaken anything in me. Because <laughs> <laughs> better it does, not awaken anything in me. Uh, so that's, okay, I, so that's it for uh, just a second. I'm going to get to some more in a little bit. And then there's a bunch of, like, songs and video stuff that I'll try to get to tonight, but I don't know. I might, but that might have to be next. Sam, time. did you find that sketch? Yeah, yeah. You want to you watch it? Um, okay. In the fan art, uh, what, what there was a uh, one of the guys he did he did uh, he's doing animatics for like Buckerson and Myers, and I watched that yes. today, and that that yeah, looks Chris so Holy. good. Yeah, yeah, it's really awesome. Yeah, it's gonna be yeah. great. So kudos to you. Uh, give me a second uh, to. All right, Atunshay donated sixty six. Says I would love to watch Kitty History tonight with y'all. Uh, Dory, I don't know why I read that in that tone, by the way. Dorian Black, number one, donated 50, says, Trevor's little speech at the end of Mount Rushmore is an underrated Trevor moment. What's that? Mount Rushmore, is that the- Is that where he says the hard F word? What? Or no, I say the hard F word. What? 
I told right, you. He's wearing to the turtleneck, and he's like, oh, "They lost me. I can't remember." The um, Mount Rushmore. Yeah. Wait, well, you know what? You know what clip we should do is the clip at the end of Cowboy Show where Trevor's like, "I'm like, you're sad." And he's like, "I'm horny." <laughs> yeah, that's yeah. so good. Yeah, and it's pee. Means. It's pee. Yeah. I just There's got a... some pee in my eye. Yeah. <laughs> Hey, it's quick, green. It means you're sad. Here's two. Pe- here's a piece of art someone you're threw. Up, man. Like, you're horny. You're fucking horny. Right, you're horny. Fuck shit. I'm oh, yeah. horny. God. The way uh, you tell so that story someone just, is so good. Someone just drew this like while we were talking about it. So here's the fat cat saying. Fuck <laughs> <laughs> and then someone asked for a picture, so I found one. So Zach, that's the fat cat, and she's got that's old. So she's gotten fatter since then. Holy she's gotten. She's shit. a big one. She's a biggie. Now do you get why it. I swore? Yeah, dude. Do you guys like feed your cats cheese in South Dakota? <laughs> yeah, dude. You don't do that. Uh, uh, my sister will Here's go a to cheese her. Courage, my Marky. sister will go to her grave saying that it's a glandular problem. But so that's my sister's cat. So she's sending me text right now. I will not. How much does that this, cat weigh? I don't know, but she says I will not take this Carlotta slander. She is declawed. And then she says, actually, she's white clawed because all my family have a like are fucking hams like me. Then she got, She says she has, a, in capital letters, she has a metabolism issue. She says 25 pounds. 25 pounds. I think for Augie a cat, that's is big, 9 right? pounds. So this that's cat would beat the... crazy. I was going to say this cat would beat up Augie. But Augie, we, Augie, Augie got beat up. Did you guys know this? Augie had no. to go to the hospital this week. He got bit in the head by another dog. They had to shit dog his Augie. head. He's got... Uh, right, dog. What's that? Yeah, dog, dog, Augie. The, the Augie the dog. Just make sure. Augie the dog. Augie the dog. Yeah. Do you, I should get it. Do you want to see it? He looks fucking insane now. Aww. You should just call him Doggy. Doggy. Yeah, he, that's yeah. right. This stream isn't sad enough. Show us your injured dog. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. He's okay though. By the way, he's fine. He he doesn't even. They, dogs get over it so fast. He like doesn't even know. It's his wounds are up here. He's fine. I don't know. Um, maybe. Tr- you can't was on to tell. Someone. You can't tell what's going on in his head. He's probably. I do. Really I can tell what's going on in Augie's head. All right. Yeah. He's he's not the he's not the most sophisticated creature. <laughs> One of my other brothers just texted me and said, "My brother Andy, uh, that's a fucking glamour shot of that fat fucking cat." Carolyn doesn't know, so I guess it's <laughs> not even a nice. That's like too nice of a photo. Andy is in uh, Weird the Stripper. He was in uh, maybe one or a couple other sketches. Anyways. Mm. Kinsey Sorry. Moore donated 50 bucks, says, glad you all met and made your group and made my life and so many others so much better. Love you. Thank goodness for 9-11. Am I right? Thank, so thank you for saying that. Atunche donated 100 bucks. Atunche, you've really been popping off tonight, my friend. Wow. This, thank you. Trevor's death really fucked me up, and I never even met the man. I can't imagine what you guys are going through, but I wish you the very best. Mars is going to be hilarious, but also really sad to watch. The, Love you all. Thank you very much. Thank the you, funny buddy. thing is, if, if you knew him actually, it kind of softens the blow. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, the guy didn't even have my fucking number saved. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> South Dakota. What? <laughs> fucking robocalls. Remember when he? Remember when he like blamed Timmy for texting him about shiny happy people, and then it turned out to be a, a different person that he didn't have his number, and he just was like, oh, I just assumed <laughs> it was Timmy a, texting me. You guys were doing a news buzz right before Zach left, uh, yeah. and uh, you guys were doing a news buzz, yeah. You called me. I was like watching a movie or something. I'm like, what? and you guys started talking about shiny happy people. I'm like, what the fuck are you talking about? So wait, Timmy, did he really never put your number in his phone? Okay, so he didn't for many, many years. And then I, I'm pretty sure there was a point where I was at his phone, but then he like got a different phone or lost it. And I think like recently, like I was not in his phone again. And you can like tell because like. You know, the last couple of years we were texting and like keeping in touch more, and like you know when we started doing more internet stuff and Twitch, we were keeping in touch more. And then like about three, four months ago, we just didn't. You know, we were talking all the time because of this, but we just weren't texting as much. And then he's like, "Yeah, I got a different phone, and I didn't put your number." <laughs> you know what it was? He he got an iPhone. He switched from he, Samsung to iPhone, got another iPhone, and then when okay. he got an iPhone, he no longer had your number. <laughs> Uh, Mark Trimble donated a hundred bucks. Says uh, definitely should put together a medley of Trevor's best tunes for the tribute. Yeah, we eh, should do the song part. Sounds like a lot of sure. work. 
Guard the Bunny donated 55 says help Mars help fund Mars by buying some sweet ass merch at chickennotkittens.com. Oh, oh yeah, yeah. yeah, so yeah. you guys see that? Fans set up uh, a bunch of the great fan artists have set up uh, their own merch site, right? Is That's that what's very, going? very, very kind of them. Yes. Thank yeah. you guys for doing that. Show that. That's awesome. Uh, we'll sue you, but but I appreciate the sentiment. <laughs> Every um, goddamn penny. <laughs> we're gonna appreciate it all the way into the courtroom. We won't sue, but uh, but nothing. Um, Sam, how's that sketch coming along? Uh, I thought I was ready, but now I think the sound isn't working. So, sounds like a way to skip show. Oh, mother of God! But I was. Right, I'm gonna go get. I'll go get Augie and show everyone his head. While so wait until you're oh, done. Oh yeah, yeah. Please do. Fuck my foot. I don't remember the sketch that much. I kind of remember the name. What season would it have been in? Well, I just. Sunday. Dude, someone just posted a fan art thing that is kind of fucking amazing. I'm gonna have to put that on. Yeah. Just to ever move it. I don't know if it's okay. really gonna show up because the hair's kind of grown back, but he got bit on the top of his little noggin here. Oh, so shaved oh. Him. oh yeah, you he's, see kinda, it. he's got like two little. See, he's got two little puncture wounds. He's trying. He's trying oh. to avoid it. Hang on, pull the camera. So are you are you making the other people get their uh, get their uh, dog destroyed then? Ouch, no, man. No. How the did you react? He went into the kitchen while the other dog thought it was about to get fed. Oh, and the geez. other dog has like food aggression. So oh. it just was like, He's uh, Okay, I think I have it ready. Let's see. Huh? I feel like this is still going to be a little fucked up. Here goes nothing. <laughs> Can you guys see it? Yes. Uh, yep. I hear myself. Yeah, might be me. Whoop. A lot of echoes. Lot of echoes. What if I try and share it? Not me. Someone just needs to meet their mic. Uh, let's see. I think. I mean. I think it. Check. Check. Oh, I don't, oh I don't hear an echo. Check, check, check. The way things work. Okay, so I have this friend Karen, right? She works here in the city, but the company that she works for is based out of Madrid. And so when she has her baby in August, she's going to get four months paid maternity leave. What company did you say this was? I don't know. They make like sombreros and bowl capes and something. The oh! Feet's touch. He touched Our my feet. Touch. Yeah, he right. Touched my you foot. touched my foot. Oh yeah, you wish I would. Oh, that's disgusting. Oh, oh. great, great. Oh. I probably have to go and burn my foot off now. Oh yeah, I'm probably gonna have to go cut my foot off. Oh yeah, probably. I'm probably gonna have to go and cut both my feet off. Oh yeah, I'm probably gonna have to go cut both my feet off and then go burn them in a bathtub or something. Oh, gross. This is disgusting. Ugh. Uh, Cindy, Deborah's boyfriend is totally trying to just fuck my foot under the table or something. Hey, Deborah, Cindy's boyfriend's a total queer bait. P.S. Totally. You're the queer bait. You're probably only dating Deborah so you could someday come to this foot under the table all the time. Yeah, you're probably not even gonna cut your foot off. Or if you do, it's probably just so that you can dress it up and make out with it all the time because it touched me. Fuck you, you fucking spick. Sam, I'll fucking cut my foot off right now. I'll go in the bathroom and cut my foot off with the hand dryer. Oh, well, good. I'm probably gonna do that too because I can't stand being connected to this foot anymore since you gayed all over it. Well, I hope you like waiting in line because I'm gonna do it first. Then do it. You do it. You do it first. First. Oh, you probably just want me to get up so you can look at my butt. Oh, yeah, right. If I did see your butt, I'd probably barf like a thousand times. Oh, yeah, barf out of happiness. Oh, yeah, right. I hate you. You love me. No, you love me. I hate you. Yeah, then why are you trying to touch my feet all the time? Oh, yeah, you wish I would. So, um, sombreros and bowl capes. I mean, that sounds pretty exciting. No, but that's not the point. The point that I'm trying to make is that these companies over in Europe, they have all these benefits that they take for granted that we would absolutely kill for. Well, it is a different culture. I think we work too hard. Yeah, I know. Here's the progress. Oh. 
I knew you weren't gonna do it. I didn't do it because you're sitting there staring at me pretending I was naked and gay. Oh, Why yeah. didn't you do it? I didn't do it because I knew you were gonna puss out. Then I'd have no feet and you could just rape me in the bathroom for days and days and days. Oh yeah, like I'd have to rape you. You're practically begging me to. I'm begging to have dinner with someone who's not so gay that they just keep trying to jerk off my feet under the table all the time. Could someone please pass the salt? Oh, gross! Oh man, man, man! Oh my God, dude! That's a good one. The use of the phrase "all the time" is so <laughs> great in this sketch. Touching my feet all the time. <laughs> Just fuck my and I'm naked and gay. <laughs> Pretending I'm naked and gay. <laughs> oh, that's a big. You can just like now. rape me and rape me and rape me. <laughs> oh, oh my god, that's amazing. Also, that the company in Mexico just makes like sombreros and bull capes. Oh my god, dude. <laughs> it's funny because we cannot find that sketch that we made, Zach. The what? cactus wasp, the the cactus wasp blow up glitter factory sketch. What do you mean? That, Why not? We we can't find it on YouTube or anywhere. Get out of here, uh, yeah, cactus like, wasp. Dude, yeah, like I've you, we've tried YouTubing it, we can't find it. Really? Because we tried Weird. to watch it on the stream before. Yeah, and it's like nobody really knows the name of it, so I think it's like hidden in an episode somewhere. I don't know. Yeah, what season is that one? Sorry, Has anyone that's... seen that? Somebody says it's on YouTube now. Yeah, where? I'm season sure four, it's on episode YouTube. Eight, we just eight, don't know what nine, it's ten. called. I can put it up. I, we don't have to watch that one. I was just... Uh, nice shirt, Tim's. There you go. Head on under the Hawaiian shirt. All right, uh, third and final White Claw. Let's go to Mars. Oh, my God. Whoa. I never drink. Are I you like, getting a good drink. buzz? Yeah, a little bit. You know, I don't really drink that often, so... Yeah. So, so you're you're a bit buzzed. A little bit. Um, have a little bit of the truth a little, serum a in you. Loosened up. Um, yeah. You know, time I, to uh, ask him all the questions. Uh, Timmy, what, what do you actually I... think about me? <laughs> I think you're all right. Yeah, I think you're a good guy. Yeah. All right. Okay. What's your favorite kind oh. of ass to eat? Favorite kind of ass to eat. My girlfriend's, because she's, I think she, you know, that's that's great, right? Got I got a question. That, right? Timmy. <laughs> <laughs> you got to say that. Oh, you got you got to say that. Timmy, in order. No, I mean, that's it. Though. That's the answer. They can't Tim hear Darren. In in order, Timmy, top five favorite blowjobs. Dude, I don't, I don't know. Sam, See, you're playing yeah, with fire. The thing is, here's the thing is, you know, in some ways Trevor's irreplaceable and you guys just aren't good at the awkward questions like he is. I'm sorry. It's just, you know, I'm not going to, I don't know. He was Come trying on, to, man. Like, Top five favorites. I want to talk about Trevor's addiction to horrible drinks because I've, I've drawn this in tribute to him and it's, do you remember when he, what was the orange one he used to drink all the time? I'm just totally ignoring this because that's like. <laughs> Slice? Yeah. What the fuck? You why? You really are. Oh, totally pointless and dumb. Um. So, uh, what was the orange one he drank? Aftershocks? What was it? I'm offended. Good. Um, so, uh... <laughs> no, Wait, you know orange, what, like an orange White Claw or a different orange? Timmy, no, 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 way you. before White Claw. I'm talking like 2003 or four. What was that energy drink alcohol thing it was orange? And he had it all the fucking time. Oh, Four Loco? Yeah. Everybody yeah. was drinking it. What, Sam? Yes, Four, four Loco. Loco? No, no, not Four Loco. It was before that stuff. It was a four four loco. He had. I remember this is like Greg. Huh? Barks. Sparks. Yes. Barks. Oh, oh god. I, did. I found Thank a picture. You, nice work. I found a bunch of pictures from uh, Greg Johnson, and I found a picture yes. of just a table from like a party at Greg Johnson's house, and it's just all empty beers filled with cigarettes and like assorted forties and and some Sparks in there. It's like. It brought me back how disgusting it was. Yeah, dude. Yeah. I, I was gonna say, sounds like us. Yeah, <laughs> that was that was the deal, man. Oh, 
Yeah, but the sugary, he loved the sugary drinks. Like, he didn't like desserts, but he liked these sugary drinks. Blech. He liked the, the, the pick-me-up, the Red Bull vodkas, the yes. Monster Energy. Yes. You know, yeah. You know, someone was talking about earlier, oh, when you guys talking about how he was malnutrition and how he didn't drink enough water, it just reminded me of when we were on set, you know, especially like season two and a couple of seasons, we'd shot, shoot in August and it was hot a lot. So, you know, drink a lot of water, but... He was always, the drinks he was always getting on set were, was Diet Coke mm. and Red Bull. And it was like, he's not fucking drinking water. <laughs> it's like, what are you yeah. doing? Man? He would drink so many Diet Cokes a oh, day in that God. period of his life. And I remember uh, there were times like maybe probably a little later when we were shooting the show, but it'd be hot and he'd look for a drink. And I just remember several times him looking up or just like kind of like saying off to whoever being like, is there a water? And that's like how I was asking for water. And it's like, I don't know, is there? <laughs> Anyways, the Red Bull. Um, yeah, Red Bull. What what else, guys? What else do we want to cover tonight? I feel like I'm I have a question. Of, I have yeah. I have a question for everybody and then let's we'll sign we'll sign off maybe. Um, what is the hardest you've ever seen Trevor laugh? He laughed really hard at little Timmy Pig Dick. He did. And that's been, they've been celebrating that on the Reddit quite a bit, you know, posting the clips of him. Yeah. Um, I'm trying to that's think of like true. a sketch that made him laugh the most. I feel my gut says uh, <laughs> it wasn't a good sketch. I don't think, I think we did it live once or twice, and that's it. Um, I forget which one of you it was. Someone walks into the room and says, it smells like a cow queefed in here. I think it was Sam, right? <laughs> I remember Trevor loving the cow queefed jokes, right? <laughs> Didn't he laugh a lot at that? Do you guys remember that? What, what sketch is that in? Fucking, oh, what there was sketch like a period of our lives where everybody was obsessed with talking about queefs. I remember that. Some sketch. Stop. Yeah, stop I remember the sketch now. Queef. The sketch yeah, but, is... See, were you the dad? Uh, uh, it's mushroom dad intervention i think was the name of the yes. sketch and it was like Ugh. uh people having a, a intervention for a dad who's eating too many mushrooms and it was like really anti captain beefheart i remember <laughs> yeah. Uh, oh yeah and then at the end the dad goes it smells like a cow queefed in here come here <laughs> stand right it's here right. it smells like it's like pretty much pussy salad it smells exactly yeah, like a cow. It starts to sketch that. It smells a little weird. Shot that, it right? smells exactly like <laughs> a cow queefed. And they're like, Dad, <laughs> yeah, they're trying to have an intervention for they're their dad. Mushrooms. Like, dad, okay, it's fine. It smells like a cow queefed, I guess. I don't know. He's like, no, it does. <laughs> it does. They're like, Dad, your substance abuse is an issue. He's like, come over and stand where I'm standing and tell me it doesn't smell like a like, cow queefed. I'm not going to stand Did here and agree? have you criticize me in a room that smells like a cow queefed in here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I remember that. Dude, uh, there's did, a couple... Did they agree? when they, Did they walk over there and say... Yeah, oh, I think that's how it ended. I, I can't I bet I could find. You know what? I bet I could find the script. I don't know. It's called Mushroom Dad? Mushroom, Mushroom Dad, Dad, Dad sounds right. Mushroom Dad Intervention. Let me see if I can find it. There was another sketch similar. I think Trevor played the main, the, the dad character in that too, where he's like, well, I've invented something and you're all going to die. Do you guys remember that one? Oh, yeah. Oh, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Loved, he loved that sketch. You know what sketch I found yeah. was uh, 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 Brad, look, the look at me now. Oh, Kapow, oh, look at me yeah. now. Kapow. Oh, that was, that, so that was a sketch we did really early days. We never filmed it. And it was like a talk show where it was like, it was called, what was it called? Yeah, I guess it was, it was called, called like, Look At Me Now. Well, it was yeah. the name of the no, 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 the talk show was Montel, called Montel Williams. Sketch sketch is called Brad. <laughs> the talk Williams. show was Montel Williams. Okay. I, I looked at it recently it this, and Darren played nerd. Montel Williams and goes, welcome back to Montel Williams. Today's episode is called Kapow, Look At Me Now. Right, right, yeah, right. Yeah, yeah. And Trevor played this guy, who was right. like a big nerd and he yeah. wanted to show off to his bully his high school bully brad the joke i remember the most was like do you see what this is brad this is a cellular phone brad it's wireless and he right. did like a 360 a he was like, it has wireless. no wires brad 
Doesn't sound very funny now, but at the time, it was yeah. oh baby, that was killed good. it. It was funny. Um, Trevor laughed so hard when you were talking about ladies caught in dryers porn. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I got it. I got mushroom intervention. I remember that. All right, Sam Who's Minner's talking room. about that. Should I read this sketch? It's pretty short. Sam Minner's room. God, it smells like a cow queefed in here. Sheesh. Hi guys. How are everyone doing? <laughs> <laughs> it's the first line. <laughs> yeah, the first line. I think that's what made Trevor laugh so hard is that the sketch started with God, it smells like a cow it comes, it in here. It comes back. It comes back. It does. <laughs> and so I think the T in here is, is Trevor. Uh, Hi, guys. How are we doing? It's so Sam. Pretty good, Dad. And who's A? Did we do the sketch with Alex? I bet we did. Not bad. Uh, Sam, what's everyone doing? This was one of those we did when Zach wasn't around. Zach was like gone for a couple shows back in the day for some reason. And so we would do guests. And we had Alex on one. We had Mike Dobbins on one. We had Greg on one. I mean, the A anyway, could have so been like on. Anthony. Because this was really No, old. this was not. No, this was no, a no, piano. This was yeah. Oh, this was okay. piano. Okay. Why was I gone? You were filming something. You were doing something. You were... I don't know. Was I in Vietnam? I was gonna say, was, I think that's when you I went was to probably Vietnam. In Vietnam. Yeah. Oh yeah. And so they're they're saying like, uh, why is everyone? What's everyone doing in the same room? I'm just kind of skimming here, but like, well, Darren's the mom. Well, your behavior as of late has been causing some concern. Oh my God, is this an intervention? I've told you a thousand times I don't have a problem. <laughs> And this goes I told on. you a thousand times I don't have a problem. Yeah. And this Good is really one. funny. Dad, uh, Trevor says, Dad, it's almost like you need to be on mushrooms to have fun. And Sam goes, thank you. <laughs> 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 if it weren't for mushrooms, I probably would have no passion for writing my poetry. And that whole piece of my life would just wither and die. <laughs> And then the other kid says, Dad, we didn't even know you wrote poetry. And Sam goes, well, maybe you should take mushrooms with me more often. <laughs> <laughs> That's a great little bit. That's funny. And then, uh, okay. And so it keeps going on and on and on. Robert, seriously, if you have to lie, then you know you have a problem. I know I have a problem. I have a problem with you having a problem with my mushrooms. It gets a little repetitive. It gets a little repetitive. Okay. And then, uh, well, I'm not, okay. And then, so they're all fighting about it. And he goes, well, I'm not going to just stand here and be attacked by my family, and especially not in a room that smells like a cow queefed in it. Dad, you see, that's mushrooms talking, man. It does not smell like a cow queefed in here. It smells exactly like it. They're like, what are you talking about? No, it doesn't. Are you guys crazy? And then they all go to the spot where Sam is. And Sam goes, now smell. Darren says, it smells a little weird. And Sam goes, it smells like a cow vart. And Darren says, a cow fart? A cow vart. A cow And then vart. my only line in the sketch is, what's a vart? <laughs> <laughs> That's my only line. I mean, it just says T or T I. The old, so I'm assuming T is Trevor. So T I is me. What's a vart? And Darren goes, "All right, this intervention is over." And Sam goes, "Yes." And that's the end. That's pretty good. That's actually there's some you know if we want to uh, cut uh, there's a lot of middle stuff that's like blah 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 but man there's some good funny stuff in there. I love it. It's good fun stuff. to find those old that's, scripts. That's I mean, on par them. with um, Horses Love Stegosaurus. Man. Just as far as, well, and that's why it came to mind when we were talking about Trevor laughing so hard, because I just remember laughing about just the idea of a guy just starting the conversation about a cow queef. Whirlpool, did we ever, we did that on the live. Yeah, we did that. Yeah. yeah. I've just, I just got, there's a bunch of old scripts here. That's what I'm like. Um, Oh. I'm going to read these, these donos here, and then I think I'm going to sign off, guys. So. Okay. Um, remember, I'm just doing 50 and up. I apologize to everyone who's donated lower than that. Uh, Jordan's Gambit donated to Timmy's cat's reaction to Sam is pulls hot dog out of his mouth, says, how's that guy still around? On a serious note, though, thank you all for the decades of laughter you've given me and my friends. Um, Schwartzy1 donated $101, says... Did you know it's illegal to say I want to watch Mars? Totally illegal. <laughs> uh, I'm a Ceridactyl donated. Said Timmy and I are twinsies. I'm also wearing the local sex pot shirt. Nice. And on my third white claw. Can we pause the stream? I got to take a piss. Love you guys. Seriously? Uh, also third white claw. Good job. Sam Rules. Anne donated 100 bucks. Thank you so much. Says... Find someone that looks at you the way Trevor looks lovingly into Zach's eyes in homophobic doctor sketch. Love you guys to Mars and back. Thanks for streaming, plucking my heartstrings tonight. 
It's good, uh, good advice. Trevor's child widow says, me and my friends got in trouble for chanting White Tiger Kingdom in history class. Love it. To Mars. Thank you very much. It's adorable. Hey, uh, one other piece of fan art came in that Zach, uh, we should all see before we go. This is a good one. This is from Ghoul Brains. And uh, here it is. I hope they weren't le- like learning. I, oh, I hope wow. it, w- it wasn't inappropriate when they were chanting White Tiger Kingdom. Or I hope it wasn't <laughs> right, inappropriate. Cool. Yeah. I hope they got, I hope they had <laughs> like a lot of yeah. discussion afterwards. It seems to just have a bunch of themes of us and stuff. It's pretty cool. Yeah, oh, that's cool. I, I don't understand this. Why are we all have one white eye and one black eye? Uh, I don't know, but it's dope. It's very creepy. I like it's creepy it. Quality. That's rad. Uh, yeah, man. Yeah. It's got look, look at all the different things that reference all of our streaming shows. There's the but not, I gotta I gotta say, not me though. Yeah, there's no uh, Dark Souls or anything. But there's a piece coming out of your head. But Darren, Darren has a. Uh, um, a cup of jizz. Uh, a cup a of jizz. Bucket. It's not a cup. It's a bucket. It's oh, it's a bucket, bucket of jizz. Oh, I thought Get it was another like bucket. That stream where he just yeah, it looked like a tea and saucer. And then you got the, the number line like, that's for a very the, good... the, the stock line for going up to the socks. Oh, the socks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, um, yeah, okay. Well, before I, wanna, before I sign off, I just want to say to everybody out there, thank you guys so much for being so yes. sweet. I've gotten so many wonderful messages over the last couple of weeks, and uh, it's really, really kind of you. It means a lot. So thank you for that. Uh, and I love you, dudes. Love and you. Uh, Wait, people, when are we going to do this again? People have been sending you messages? <laughs> no one has sent me a message. <laughs> that can't oh, be well, we told oh, them no. not to. What? I'll send you one right I've now. I've been so yeah, sad. Guys, don't, I said, don't talk to Sam. <laughs> <laughs> I've been so long. When, when are we going to do this again, guys? Well, let's see. So we got the memorial show coming up in two weeks. Uh, maybe after that sometime? Uh, uh, I'd be down to do a stream. I mean, I, I can do it with one of you or whatever. But I'm, I'm always open to do a stream. So, yeah. but Darren, when you go to London, isn't it going to get so hard? It will. I mean, um, I'll figure it out though. Like, okay. um, yeah. I mean, well, I Darren, I'd be down to do too. like daytime streams with you too. Daytime oh, streams and that time. Yeah, love. we could we could do uh, premiership streams where we talk about soccer. <laughs> there you go. This yeah. week in soccer. I like that. <laughs> Uh, yeah, man, the chat is just full of love tonight. It is really, really nice yeah. to see. I know. Honestly, Everyone's this has been so sweet. Everyone has been so great today in the chat. It's been really, really lovely. Thank and you thank you to the mods because the mods yeah. have been so amazing. Because we know, yeah, you guys are doing a great job of holding it down. Yeah, yeah. appreciate it. Yeah. Um, all right, all right you, everybody. And, and we're gonna we're gonna make stuff. We're we're gonna like. Keep yeah. putting some stuff that we uh, have around out, so it's just kind of tough. Like I'm gonna put out that last uh, episode of Road to Whore Town soon. Oh, and I'm gonna put the last, the final newsboys out. I just need to make like a video intro to it, just because of like that was, you know, that was like hours. Two hours before Trevor died, so uh, I just know people are going to watch it like with a morbid kind of a thing, and I just want to—I I don't even know what to say about it. Maybe I'll just release it. I don't—I don't want to hide it. I mean, it yeah, was odd. maybe she just put out not meant. I don't know, man. Yeah, that's a tough thing to figure out. I mean, the only thing I would say is like, this is a wonderful. This is a wonderful last conversation with Trevor. You know, like where he was like, it ended so great and positive and he was in you can tell he was in like a really good headspace and it's like really really lovely and um like i'm i'm so glad we had that talk that night because it was a great night and uh so yeah i'm totally down to to share that with people i don't even i don't even worry about the comments there's nothing in there that i feel like anyone would would uh fuck up i don't know right but uh uh yeah you, the last it's coming it's coming the last stream interaction I had with him was I was streaming from my parents' house, and he said, "Why is that cat so fat?" That's like the last conversation. Is that really? It is true. <laughs> That's so funny. Yeah, I'm glad we brought that up tonight. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> the last. Yeah, I was last at my parents' house. I bring the cat on, and Trevor starts cheesing out, and I'm talking to Sam and Darren about the cat, whatever. 
And I take the cat away, and Trevor's still laughing. I'm like, what? He's like, why is that cat so fat? Yeah. Well, what was funny was Timmy was like, Zach, just so you know, Timmy was like, hey, check it out. It's my sister's cat. Not mentioning it's the fattest cat any of us have ever seen. <laughs> <laughs> is that out of just view? Of it it's by. it's yeah. huge. Um, yeah. Actually, uh, the last the last conversation I had with Trevor, he was talking. We were talking about when I saved that guy from the the Boston Marathon and right. from the bombing. And he said, uh, "Sam, you were always better than Zach, Timmy, and Darren." Mm. Yeah. He and. He said, "He would say that to me too." He yeah, he said that to me too. Sam is better than you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um. And he said, oh, "You know, man. I'm surprised people don't believe you that you were in Tower One, but I know it's true." <laughs> <laughs> so, and he said, "But it's easy." <laughs> Uh, I tell you what, man. Maybe one more joke. Let's end it on a high note. (laughs) I was going to say, you know, comedic genius, great friend. He was wrong about this stuff. It's just not good. I'm going to wake up feeling like so much, Timmy. Huh? (laughs) So much. He was wrong about so much. I know. He had a terrible taste in anything you put in your body. I'm kidding. That was a a joke. The guy was wrong every 15 seconds. We all know that. But this... (laughs) This was wrong. This is incor- <laughs> incorrect beverage, sir. <laughs> that beverage is like the bone tomahawk of beverages. <laughs> oh, yeah. Cell so oh, Block yeah. 99. <laughs> yeah. Those, like, those are like those uh, Republican movies, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I haven't seen them. Oh. All right, guys. I'm a All little right. drunk. Who should, we, who should we raid? Go. Uh, I, I want to watch it. Who should we what read? My vote is always like three people in a room, and it, it's a little girl playing Skyrim. Dude, I am right. on Darren's. You made it sound. You should send three thousand sound whack jobs into a little girl's said, bedroom. Wait, hold on. You said three yes, people in should. a room. You said three people in a room watching a little girl play Skyrim. Let's just, I think let's try and clarify so it doesn't sound like you're supporting some sort of fucked up pedo torture channel. We're talking about you, three people in the chat watching someone play Skyrim is what you mean. Sh- Shadow yeah. Bambi okay. has... Okay, okay good. Shadow, Shadow Bambi has 10 time, viewers. And it was amazing. No, I know what you mean, man. It's just the way you described it first was... T- was, it was it was, I don't know. I made it go, funny. Just raid somebody now. Just go, go somebody with no viewers. I want to watch somebody get raided by thousands of people. It's fun. Yeah, how many? I didn't even look. Did we have a lot? How many folks did we have on tonight? I think like 3,000 or so. Nice I don't work. know. Great job, All everybody. Right. Thank you guys for watching. Shadow Bambi. Hell yeah. All right, fine. What's she playing? Or they, what are they Sky playing? Skyrim. All right, guys. Bye, Zach. Later, Love everybody. You, Love you, dudes. Love you, Love man. You, Peace. Later. Cool. Uh, Wait, how do we spell that? Oh, underscore. I'm looking for underscore. I have to watch a. You guys know about this stuff? You an ad. Okay, we're raiding Shadow Bambi with. 1800 people. How many people are in the room? 1800. I got, yeah, cool. Oh, yeah. Okay. All right. All right. Pop it. Thank you, everybody. Thanks, guys. Yeah.